Hello, how's it going? Um, so, my friend Josh says he is gonna hop on. He just got off work not too long ago, so we'll see him momentarily. But I'm gonna just hop on and play some Minecraft. I think it'll be nice, relaxing, fun. Uh, let me get it all set up. Also, let me change the. Uh, this edit stream we are now gonna play minecraft so some nice relaxing minecraft vibes yeah that sounds fun let's do it with this Yeah, cool, cool, okay. And then, oh, also we need to change this to Minecraft. The most streamed game in existence. And now it's actually open Minecraft. Uh, at some point, um, what is this? Why is it so big? Did they do an update recently? I think they did. Um, at some point, I know one of my friends, Maya, um, Marianne Cosplays, uh, she has a friend who makes, like, really... Why am I jumpy? I am jumpy for a second there. Hold on, sorry. Um, okay, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, Ashley's uh, Twitch Sings opened up on this computer. Just randomly out of the blue. I opened Minecraft and decided to open that instead. So it like made it so I was streaming two things at the same time on the same computer. Not good. Uh, but it should be okay now. Just give it a little bit to like realize, oh, that's what happened. But th that's why that freaked out. I, I I opened Minecraft and for some reason it opened Twitch Things. Don't know why. Um, But it should be okay in a moment. As I say, um, it's funny. My OBS is looking jumpy, which is unusual. Which means it was just—I think it was just using a lot of RAM. So it should go back up normally. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking at the video. It should be fine. Um, okay. We should be okay. We should be fine. <laughs> that was scary. Uh, Minecraft, yes. Let's make this a wee bit bigger. I know I was having some unstable connection issues before. Hi, my. I was literally just talking about you and uh, your uh, Minecraft friend. I was saying at some point I need to see their stuff. How are you, Maya? Oh, we're going to play some Minecraft in a little bit. Oh, I'm in creative mode. Where am I right now? What the hell was I doing last? Oh, I was messing with friends last. I remember now. 
Okay. Let's uh, show some Minecraft. Do do. I'll, I'll go back to survival. I think <laughs> it would be great if just a screw up run sometimes. But yes, how are you, Maya? Uh, properties. Oh, a lot of things open for some reason. Ooh, yes, I'm gonna. I'm good, gonna watch while I work on your dress. Nice, nice, nice. I know you're working on a Christmas dress, which is really fun. Uh, let's do this. You missed some modded Paper Mario, which is fun. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Make this. And then this is a little shorter. There we go. Then we could do this. And there we go. And I should have a stable connection again. For some reason, I opened Minecraft, I opened Twitch things, so I was like, oh, you have an unstable connection, but now it's fine. There we go. Okay. And I'm floating. Let's fix that. <laughs> Micro adjustments. Growing pains, whatever you want to call them. There we go. Make myself a little bigger. There we go. Yeah, I think I was uh, spawning, like, Endermen at people or something last time. I... I I don't remember. Yeah, because this is my other friend's house. Yeah, I spawned like tons of dogs and cats around him, and then other things. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Those are Minecraft kitties. Like all the puppies. There's I spawned like basically a bunch of cats and dogs in his area just because troll. I don't know. Um, hey, wanna see a pig fly? Be gone. All right, we're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to drop all the things that I don't usually have. We might get stuff back. Yeah, I, I definitely created this one. I think the rest of this I actually picked up. And we're gonna kill ourselves and go home. Or we could just TP 000, right? Oops. Self. Alright. Yeah, we could TP this. We could do this. This is like generally the zero location, right? Oh, okay. Nope, just kidding. We lost everything. Ah, not a big deal. We're back home. <laughs> a new fresh start. And Josh will pop up later, he said. So let's go to survival. And see <laughs> what I have at home. Yes, how are you, Maya? Uh, let's see here. Let's go over here. At some point, you should join. By the way, I think I think you'll you'll enjoy playing Minecraft, and I promise I won't kill you every five seconds like I have before. Uh, people don't know Maya is a cosplayer and costume artist, and a very very talented individual. Yes. Oh, by the way, uh, I uh, just hit over 150 subscribers on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Did I fix this? Yeah, okay, that's fixed. Hello, Dolly. Oh, I still have my invisible potion for some reason. I definitely hacked this in. Or, not hacked it in, you know. It's illegal, but you know what? I'm gonna put it in a chest. Why not? Oh, I still have all my stuff, apparently. Okay. That makes life a little bit easier. Um, I swear I had full armor, but that's fine. We'll go with this. I mean, I have so much iron somewhere here. I could probably just make more full armor. Yeah, there we go. 
Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. This is, this is you know, a nice milestone for sure. I mean, I've been doing YouTube since high school, so it's kind of like, hey, that's pretty nice. Yeah, you know what's weird? I've been doing YouTube, I think, technically longer than a lot of big YouTubers now. So it's kind of like, huh, that's interesting. Um, I actually think I started YouTube around the same time Markiplier has, for example, which is kind of bizarre to think about. All right, head boots. What am I doing? I need a helmet. Now I have two boots. Um, let's make an iron. Let's make a iron pickaxe. We well, don't have any wood right now. Not this fight right now. Oh, we should make a shield. That's what we should do. So, do you have any wood? That's dirt. There's a, one wooden plank. I might go exploring today. Apparently, uh, very weak tools over here. Here's some wood. I forgot how you make a shield. It's like iron in the middle. No. It's something like that. I gotta look it up again. But yeah, we we're just playing some Paper Mario. Uh, modded Paper Mario. So I went to a place called Lava Lava Island with Lava Lava Volcano. So lots of lavas. Actually, I think it's four lavas. Lava 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 Lava, whatever. So that was fun. We just got to the volcano. Oh, so lots of Yoshis. Oh, that's a weird setup. Apparently it's this and then minus these two. That is not looking like a shield to me, but you know what? That's fine. We made a shield. Uh, e. There we go. We need a bow. Do we have any sticks? Oh yeah, we have wood, so I can make sticks. Do we have any string? Yes, we do. Yeah, let's make some... I got some arrows. Let's make a bow. Well, first we gotta make sticks. I know how to play games. I think it's this. And then. Yeah, there we go. How do you make arrows again? I think it's. You need feathers and a stick. I prefer Lava Llama Island. I do too. I like that name. Where all the llamas barf lava. Ooh, that sounds... We're going to make a game with that. Absolutely, there we go. L lava llamas. You could probably mod Minecraft to do that. I mean, they, they spit the game, so you could probably make a mod where they spit and you catch on fire when they spit on you. That'd be fun. How do I make arrows again? I, th I think it's... Is it iron stick feather? I think you can make different ones. Oh, it's coal. It's flint. Oh, interesting. You can also make a special arrow with glowstone. Interesting. Okay. So let's get some feathers. I don't think I have any flint, but we have coal, which I think acts the same way. OMG. Alright, I need feathers. Let me kill some chickens. Here's some feathers. Oh, I also have more arrows here. I'm gonna keep the coal anyways. Oh, here's flint. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright. OMG. I would just do 
do that. And then I only have five feathers. Oh, that's coal. Got it. So Flint's only one that actually really works. I got 32 arrows. That's not terrible. All right. We're going to still set up here. Um, let's dump some of this. I think you're going to bed with me just in case. Jack o' lantern. Yeah, I was playing with a different. But my graduate school friends here, we weren't streaming it, but um, <laughs> it was funny. We have a uh, one of our friends. He's he looks like the the stereotypical um, lumberjack. So, and we always joke because he he had a. Very interesting guy. He actually, uh, Maya, he's he's the one that um, is interested in voice acting. All right, I'm gonna ask him about voice acting for stuff. Yeah, he has a really good voice. I hear an illager outside. What? Evil illager? What are you? I just heard an evil illager. We are not near any illager villages. Hi. Okay. But I did spawn them. Hi, friend. How's it going? I forgot how they could invade your houses. Uh, we got a diamond sword, don't we? That's what you get. Ooh, nice. Uh, yes, more sounds for the animation. Yeah, I was talking a little bit about that, but um, I'm working on an animation project with some friends, and uh, it's fine. I wrote a whole script about for it and everything. I think I showed me drawing concept arts on this channel at one point, but I just showed some animation stuff. That'll be really fun. But yeah, it's something that I've been working on. That I'm really excited about. It's been kind of in, uh, at least stirring in our brains since like high school so it's been really fun but yeah um but uh this lumberjack friend of ours he had a interaction with a bear where he was he used to be actually a lumberjack at one of his many billion jobs um and he got stuck under a tree and there's a bear nearby so we always make honey jokes around him <laughs> i know we're mean um but it was funny, like, when we were playing in Minecraft here, I went to creative mode and just spawned tons of, like, so there's, like, a honey block in Minecraft that you can slide down. So, like, we made, he had a house, we we surrounded the house in honey, and we're just, like, sliding up and down the honey blocks in front of him. It was beautiful. He is a lovely and fascinating individual. But, yeah. He's the one, uh... We're saying, um, I, and I still need to like fully ask him, but I, I've semi asked, and he said he's been really interested. Um, he's done voice acting for other stuff for, uh, for fun. Uh, when, when we're at Baya, like he would do stuff like that. But um, I think he'd be good for um, the professor character because he has that kind of professory voice. I think it'd be really cool. But yes. Yes, it's getting late. Let's go outside. Or, you know, let's actually sleep in our bed. Where's my bed? I think someone stole my bed. <laughs> well, that's fine. We got an extra. There we go. Also, secret tunnel. Secrets. Alright, well, it's daytime. Let's go exploring. Yeah, I've been streaming for three hours. We could go to the nether. I think I wait for 
when Josh comes by to go in the nether, though. We did some exploration there, though, not too long ago. Yeah, that's my brother's tower over there. My brother loves railroads. <laughs> but yes, uh, at some point, Maya, I need to look at your friends thing. They, they, they did message me on Discord. Um, but yeah, whenever I jump on there, and like with their permission, if I can stream it, because I think they said they're interested in streaming that. They are, uh, they do like a lot of um, like cool building stuff in Minecraft. Uh, according to Maya, so I'm excited to see that. Oh, I think my brother changed up the tower here. Or is this a new tower? Did he defeat... I'm sure he did this in creative. <laughs> I mean, we have defeated the Wither many times, but... I don't, I don't think we've played the server long enough to... Uh... Hey, what's in here? He's done some he's done some stuff since I've played this server. What is in here? Other than another one of these. Ah, nice. Oh, it's a lighthouse. I think we had one of these so we used to when we first played Minecraft, it was like two thousand like ten, I think. So literally a decade ago, uh, we had a big, ser well, not big server, it was just like us and close friends kind of thing, but we played on that for years. Uh, we actually saw the maps for it, so we're kind of tempted to bring that back at some point. But, you know, it's such an old version of Minecraft now that I don't think it would even work properly. Uh, but it was such a cool map. We did, we like made cities and stuff with it. But we also had a lighthouse, so it's kind of like that. It was cool. It's got an ender chest already? My brother's been playing. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. He has underwater. Oh, that's awesome. He has a little, like, window to underwater. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, I always love, like, interesting things that people build in Minecraft because people get super creative with it. So I'm excited to see that kind of stuff. Not a lot in there. I'm gonna still sell his torches. If you won't mind. Alright. Where do we want to go? Hmm. You can go swimming in some water for a while. I know they've added a lot of cool water things in Minecraft. Like, they have, like, underwater temples and, like, crazy stuff like that. Dolphins! And a squid. That's cool. I like how they added dolphins in Minecraft. It was weird. When Minecraft came out, there was like no fish. It was only squids. It was like, huh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, there's crazy uh, formations over there. Let's, let's, let's explore that. I think that'd be pretty fun. La ti di, la ti da. La di, la ti It was funny. For the. Um, oh, my brother's apparently been making roads over there too. Oh, I think this is the area, <laughs> I remember, um, also part of my grad school friend group. Uh, I think we went through this area before my brother decided to do things here, it looks like. Or someone did, at least. Um, 
And they're like, they, they carved a whole mountain in the middle because they thought it would all fall. And they were really excited and very disappointed that it just stayed there floating. It was pretty funny. That's that's crazy. I love weird formations like this. Um, if you ever remember like old Minecraft, uh, and you could still get this through like I think one of the map options you can do. Um, it used to be the bad land lands, which was if you um, explored far enough in a map. Um, formations would kind of screw up and then you get these crazy blocks everywhere that weren't supposed to be together and just looked wild it was called the badlands then so it's like the end of the world kind of uh, kind of thing what's over here <laughs> interesting the used to be a ravine Yeah, I'm not gonna explore a cave that's already been explored. That's cool. Yeah, old Minecraft was fun. I like new Minecraft too. Um, actually, I think I still prefer it, but it's just uh, I don't. Know, there's like when you had less knowledge of Minecraft, it was interesting if that makes sense. Like, I think another example of that like. When you play, play Pokemon for the first time, and like you, know, you see all these crazy things, like oh that evolves to that, that's cool kind of stuff. Um, nowadays you kind of you could like look it up, you know. Um, do I have a normal pickaxe? I didn't even bring a. Wow, I should have brought wood. That's okay. I don't need to mind this. That's crazy formation. Oh, that's fun. Let's get to the top. But yeah, like, I feel like, you know, because there's less ambiguity with how games are now, because you can look everything up, um, it does suck some fun out of it. Because it used to be, like, crazy, like, you know, in middle school, you'd hear, like, oh, and do you know in Pokemon uh, Red and Blue, if, if you were able to push that truck over as one area, there'd be a Mew underneath you can catch. You know, everyone believed it and it ended up not being real. Ah! Never mind. Um, like, just stuff like that. Oh, I can't eat. Okay. I'll just jump in the water. Please hit the water. That was two blocks away from the water. Okay, cool. We'll get some up of that. Um, but yeah, it was, it's something where, you know, it's a little less exciting now because you know everything, if that makes sense. It's still fun for new player, and obviously Pokemon's kind of designed for newer players every single generation, which is why they're always kind of easy. <laughs> um, but I remember, because even with like newer Pokemon that are out though, you can look them up, you know? And it's kind of easy to figure out, oh, this evolves to this at this level, and you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, there is a, I remember Alpha Rad, who's a, he's a YouTube Let's Play that I watch. Uh, very, very funny, entertaining, charismatic individual. Uh, he's like, I think, 3 million subscribers on YouTube or something, so pretty big guy. Um, but still, like, smaller than, like, say, like a Markiplier scenario. But, um,. He played a modded Pokemon game. I think it was Pokemon Emerald. They replaced every single Pokemon with Sonic characters, which sounds utterly ridiculous. But there is something interesting about it because you know you had a vague understanding of Sonic characters if so you know Sonic remotely. But interesting how they formed Pokemon and seeing oh this character evolves to this. Oh that's cool. I said this Pokemon who's the Sonic character over here. Oh, that's cool. You could turn this guy to this, and you know, and there's they had like, you know, it was obviously the cringy Sonic kind of stuff, but still cool that it was like a new thing. And I like that. Hi, zombie. I 
where did zombie go? He was literally just there. I saw a zombie, right? Oh, yep, there you are. Okay. There you go. What's over here? This is a tower? Okay. Interesting. Well, let's go, uh... I hit the floor! Well... Okay, cool. We'll still explore. Let's go to bed first. <laughs> and maybe bring... Mm, different stuff. But yeah, it was just kind of cool. I was like, oh, like... You know, new things they had no clue how to fight because they didn't know their typing. Yeah, it was kind of a cool concept. Uh, let's see what else we want to bring. Maybe wood. Maybe some blocks. Yeah, sure, basalt. Why not? Why not? We got blocks here. Do you have any more food? We got saddles, which is kind of cool. We got a gold apple. I don't want to bring that, though. Okay, cool. So I think we're running a little low on food. Might have to eat the sheep. I'm just kidding. We're not we're not eating you, Dolly. It's okay. Uh we'll be fine. Hi, spider friend. Let's go this way. Finding Nemo. Actually, you know what? Let's make a boat and just go exploring in the seas. Yeah, let's go. Let's go make a boat. How do I make a boat again? I don't remember how to make a boat. Um, I'm going to look this up. As I was saying, like, you know, all these new discoveries because you don't have to look things up. Back in my day before the internet. I was born with the internet. I was, I'm born in 95. But still. Uh, boat. Minecraft. How do I make you? Oh. Okay. I was close. I was actually really close. There we go. Let's go. Uh, ignore that one. <laughs> the tall bedrock tower. Definitely vanilla. Oh, that was a, that was a dolphin squeaking. That's cute. There's some, like, Minecraft ASMR channels, which is fascinating. Oh, there's, uh, the island. I think that's Josh's house right there. Mushroom woods are interesting. Yeah, ASMR is interesting. Actually, as someone who has a hard time sleeping in general, uh, I'd say ASMR is nice. Yet to be pretty, I'm pretty particular, though, in sense of what ASMR I listen to. Because you know, there's a lot of bad ASMR channels in the sense of, um, I mean, that's entirely subjective, of course. Um, but, I don't know. It's, it sounds weird, but I, less the, uh, I like the less, I guess, intimate contact-based ones, if that makes sense. Because those just feel kind of weird. In the sense of, like, okay. Like, and I don't really like the idea of a stranger whispering in my ear, per se, you know. But ones, I guess, are less, like, personal than that. Which is, most of them are like that, where they whisper in your ear kind of thing. But, um... 
Oh, ASMR is interesting. I like I like the ones that are more like. Yeah, I, I guess. Informal and not. As personal as that, if that makes sense. Like tapping based ones or whatever. I used to watch like before like. Knowing ASMR too well. I went back home. <laughs> I wanted to go exploring. I went back home. Um, I was too like. There was this one massage person. It was like an Indian massage person. Um, his name was like Baba ASMR or something. Or Cosmic ASMR, that's what it was. Because um, it was an ASMR. So actually, it was an ASMR channel. But um, I didn't know it was an ASMR channel before finding him, if that makes sense. Because, like, you could see videos of this car this guy before, like, not on his main channel, even. I'm kind of trapped in this area. It's kind of like a lake. Um, but he's just, like, crazy. Like, he'd be like, relax! And, like, he was, like, he basically, like, punch people's heads for massaging, which is really funny. Um, I'm gonna jump on this island. Oh, hi, dolphin friend. Are you stuck, buddy? Okay, bye. Yeah. Dolphins are cute. I love dolphins. They're also terrifying in real life uh, for multitude reasons. We'll get back to that later. But, um... He, like, he was, it was kind of funny watching him, but because he made up a, a performance, almost, in the sense of, like, giving people head massages and stuff like that. But, um... Last year, I think, it was 2019, it's almost 2021 now, so I guess almost two years ago, he uh, passed away. I was really sad, because, like, you know, I watched his stuff, like, oh, this, you know, he, he's funny to watch, and it's relaxing watching other people get head massages from him, and he passed away, and made me really sad, but it was actually really touching seeing, like, that, I guess fans of him because you know people literally just watch his channels to watch him people literally go over the world to get like head massages from him uh what you what you can actually casually scan over dolphins fear um yeah i know right amazing <laughs> dolphins are are we'll get to why dolphins are terrifying momentarily <laughs> But, um, yeah, his family, his, um, I think his son does ASMR now and stuff like that, which is really cool. Like, he does, like, the visage stuff and stuff like that, exact same way. And I think it's, it's just kind of cool. Uh, but yes, back to dolphins. Uh, dolphins are terrifying for multitude reasons. Um, they obviously are very smart. They are arguably, um, the second most intelligent species. I mean, uh, there's also a sub- Satian, uh, there are other Satian animals that are arguably more intelligent than dolphins, but dolphins are like the third, second to third most intelligent animals to exist. Um, very social, they, they name each other. It's not the scary part, this is just giving background of how smart they are. Um, they will bully puffer fish to get them scared to puff up. So they could chew on their toxins, get high off of it. Um, their male private parts are prehensile, which means they could grab stuff with them. Uh, and other things that I'm not sure I'm allowed to say on Twitch they have done, which is bad. Uh, basically, they're very... They, they could be very scary animals for people, for humans. Not all, and obviously, you know, all that stuff, you know. They are very, they're a very cool animal, for sure. And the fact they're so intelligent is amazing and terrifying for multitudes of reasons. But yeah, they, they have a similar, like, social structure as humans, which is interesting. But yeah, I like dolphins. But they're scary. <laughs> Does that help, Maya? Is that 
better for me to <laughs> explain why you should fear dolphins. I like how you break the boat in order to uh, get it. Uh, okay. This is a new island. I don't think anyone's been here yet. Hi, cow. Pumpkins. Uh, we're gonna kill the cow. Do you remember the cows and cows and cows and cows video? Old YouTube channel, very weird. I find it kind of cool that I've spent the last... Been in high school, so four, eight, nine... The last decade learning the programs he used just to make that video, which is kind of cool. You know, he used After Effects and Premiere and old Adobe Suite mostly, and, you know, Photoshop. And it's like, hey, I can actually make a video like that now pretty easily. Like, I actually understand how he's made that video. I remember seeing that, like, how on earth do you make that? And it's cool now, like, post-education be like, oh, I can make something like that. It's kind of cool. The cows and cows and cows and cows video? Um... Here. I'm gonna die because I'm, it's night time. I'm just gonna put a link in the chat. And you need to check out the Cows and Cows and Cows video. It's an old YouTube video. Let's see, how old is it? It is exactly a decade old. But, um... I used to think, like, this video is crazy. Like, I loved it so much. He has a lot creepier videos to Syriac, that's his name. But he still uploads crazy stuff. He has a unique style. Um, but, like, I, I know how he makes stuff now. It's like, that's kind of cool. Yeah, his last upload was five months ago. But he posts, like, probably once or twice a year. Yeah, he uses Premiere and After Effects and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. But there there's cows and cows and cows and cows. It's nighttime. Uh, I should probably hide in the hole. Bubblebee. Did I bring a bed? No, I didn't, but I probably don't want to bring a bed anyways. Um. I mean, I don't see a lot of zombies right now, so I think... I think I'll keep walking around until need be. I'm pretty armored up. Yeah, the 10 year old video that I just thought was crazy 10 years ago. Like, whoa. But <laughs> I give you no explanation of what cows and cows and cows and cows is. And I think I'm happy. I'm content with <laughs> not giving a full explanation. Thank you for your wool and your pork chops. Alright. Okay, skeleton friend. Well, woods is actually pretty nice in the sense of running away from things that could kill me. Um, zombies on there. There's some caves. Let's get this out. Oh, we could go back in the water. I'm mean, swimming at night. I don't think anything. There's not too many dangerous things in the water. Which is kind of ironic. I mean, th there are some very dangerous creatures that are water-based in this game. But most dangerous enemies in this game are... Ooh, hi, friend. Are, uh... Terrestrial. Lots of sheep here. I, I, I'm having a really hard time finding sheep. Oh, Josh is calling me. Uh, let me get in the water. Boat, boat, boat. It's not quite the water I was thinking. Usually find the middle of the water. 
Just kidding. That's a that's a witch. I'm not dealing with witches. I'm sorry, Josh. I'll call you back. Those cows were too much. Uh, they were the perfect amount. Here, let, me, let me get Josh back on the phone. Zeke. Let me do this. <laughs> Hello. Hello, I'm streaming. How are you, Josh? Are you almost ready to jump in? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll set it up and then just jump in and we'll play. All right, see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Let me open up Discord. Uh, we'll probably do it under our Jams Discord. I'm oh, just kidding. Discord is frozen. That was weird. Now Discord's open and totally fine. Cool. There we go. Why is I muted here? There we go. Okay. And then I'll just say, oh, my, oh no, I'm not on that Discord. Cool. Oh, wait, it looks like he's on. Hello. There you are. Yes. I'm old Greg. <laughs> I'm old Greg. <laughs> I'm all over and I got. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can't get up. Uh, don't kill me, zombie. Uh, so I've been exploring. First of all, how are you, Josh? I am well. Um, I just got off work. My car hit 100,000 miles on the Oh my god, I thought you were saying my car got hit for a second. I was like, oh no! <laughs> no, your car no. got hit. My car got my car got hit. I uh, yeah, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Right, I was gonna say that was so nonchalant, Josh. Yeah. Um. No, yeah, I hit a hundred thousand miles. Uh, so my baby's nice. Getting old. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Congrats. You need to uh, um, when you hit one 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 one. That that that's a lucky sign for me. That's like a good omen right there. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Is that a spider or a creeper? I uh. Sorry. I, I went exploring, and it's dark, and I'm on some random island with witches. Yes. Beautiful. Um, okay. But yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Um, well, shit, if you want, you can TP me. I'm fully okay. armed. Yeah. It, uh, remind, is it TP... I, I always forget the order. No, don't don't risk it because you might accidentally teleport yourself. To yeah, me. yeah. I, I always forget. Is it me, you, or you, me for? I think, I think it's person to destination. Okay. Creeper. Oh man. Woo. Wow. I just Ooh. got uh, what's it called? Clever girled. I just got clever girled. Like I had one creeper distracting me, and then one snuck up behind me. All right. Hold yeah. On. Look it up. I'm just gonna climb up this mountain. I actually have some light right now due to the lava fall here. Player to you. Was that the sun rising? Oh, thank goodness. All right. So yeah, TP dash TP and then put in. My name and then your okay. name. Should work. Hey, welcome. Oh. At first. Look at the sun. So look at the sunrise. That is. Everywhere the light touches is yours. Also, long live the king. <laughs> okay, let's go. I didn't hit you. I know. I was. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I, I almost did though. I was like, I was, gonna... <laughs> I was just being dumb. Damn it, Zach! You and your being dumb. I know, right? Me and my small brain. 
smooth brain hours. Dude, what is up with this? Yeah, this That's place is chock filled with random mobs. Uh, the the woods down there where the sun's rising, I uh, had I ran into a witch there, which is fun. I swear I'm having some sort of right now. No, you like... have like three I'm arrows good. just in your shoulder. <laughs> right. By a Simba. Yeah. Remember who you are. Dude, I, I, hate these <laughs> I like how you caught a fire the second he ran to us. This infant kamikaze. <laughs> Man, he was he was he was risky at all there. Coming hot, literally. I, I love baby zombies. I fucking hate them. With a I pen. I mean, well deserved, but I also kind of love them. <laughs> fucking head ass they are. Alright. Where shall we go? So, I don't remember the location. I, I came here on a boat. So I kind of want an island hop, but this island is way bigger than I thought. So I might, we might just want to go exploring through the woods. Sounds good. Hopefully we can find a dog. Yes, doggy. Wait, actually I don't have any bones. Wait, no, I do have bones. Wait. You'll get bones pretty I easily. I, um, it's I was uh, playing with some of my college friends on the server. I wasn't streaming it. But um, I was, you know, as I mess with you sometimes in creative mode, I spawned thousands of dogs in this one guy's area, and he actually hit one <laughs> and got crowded. Oh, no. It was wonderful. It was, it was beautiful. I kept making... You know how you could, like, if you compress a bunch of mobs in a box... In one space area or two space area, that they explode out when you break it. I no. I oh yeah, you could do that. So basically, like if you could press, like so, like a dog, for example, or a wolf, it takes up two blocks. Uh, so you make a two yeah. block space in a box. So I, I put that in front of his house and just wrote, like, open. <laughs> it was made of dirt. So he broke it open, and all the dogs flew at him as he was punching him. <laughs> That's fucking wonderful. I loved it. It was beautiful. That's right I remember, here. um, I have, I have a list of, like, fun trolling and griefing things you could do in Minecraft back in a different server. Because someone was trying to figure out... Someone had, like, oh, a little, yeah. like, war with one of his buddies on the server. So he's like, okay, what can I do to, like, screw with them? You, you, you know how to do stuff like that, right, Zach? I was like, yep, I do. And I made it a whole Google Doc of a list of just like actually I I went to you actually yes you, you know this because I asked you for some other options and you wrote some stuff on it, if you remember yeah that was fun yeah I remember that it was that was pretty funny you wrote the Google's. <laughs> let's see what are you doing I'm just I don't know oh hey look a pig in a tree. You won't get away from us long, piggy. I love the sound of their squeals as they perish. Yeah, man, it gives me ASMR tingles. Uh, I'm Perish, gonna piggy. drop <clears throat> seeds. There we go. Drop my vegan diet for uh, some nice pork chops. Oh, hey, mushrooms. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna drop this. Oh, I get the fist. Wait, can we that one? <laughs> I think it was. Was it today? Josh sent me a picture that was just like a picture of him in front of a, a sea turtle in Minecraft. He just wrote, "I'm gonna make some turtle soup," and just like the next picture of it's dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I found that so funny at the time. But I was like, I'm oh, it, it's like the perfect levels of like. Smooth brain humor that I enjoy. <laughs> Maya says, OMG, the dogs are a team. Yes. So, um, if you don't know Maya, if you have a bunch of wild, or a bunch of wolves or wild dogs that don't belong to an owner, you punch it, their eyes turn red, and they all attack the person either until they're dead or until um, a certain amount of time period. So, they're actually very dangerous mobs when they do attack you. Uh, they'll also attack... Yeah, um, when you do you have an owner, but their eyes don't turn red, they don't go like super zoomy fast like we do. Yes. Zach. 
I was gonna say earlier when you were like telling Smooth Brain Gamer, you reminded me. There's just a meme that reminds me of you and me. It's straight up. <laughs> I'm glad a Smooth Naka. Brain meme reminds you of me. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, us. Uh, uh, oh, yes, it's definitely. A of, uh, it's a meme of Sokka and Aang, and I was like, talking about how they're both like very effective and intelligent on their own, but when they get together, they have like one brain cell. That's absolutely us on many levels, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It's like the scene where they bash heads, like trying to like. <laughs> when they're being fancy, they're yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maya says, it's like you piss off chickens in Zelda. Yes, it's very similar for roles in this. However, I would argue that the Kukos in Zelda are much more deadly. Because they will attack until you're dead. Dude, the Kukos are... Yeah, they're... You might have a little Breath of the Wild, I which I need to play more soon. Um, you can pick up a Kuko and throw it at an enemy. And it'll cause a swarm of Kukos to... Uh, Go kill the enemy, and they will kill the enemy. It's wonderful. Like, like when you're fighting Lynels, it's a good idea to actually bring a Coco. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, I'm down nearby. Nice. I see you. Did you make that ladder? I just broke my leg. Okay, yeah. I was like, do you just find that, or do you just make that? <laughs> Your singing got so sad as you died. That was wonderful. I'm gonna teleport you back. Get back here. <laughs> Josh, what did we learn? I'm just... Actually, you know, okay. hold on. Hold on. I, I gotta get my letter back. You know, they're they useful. useful. Oh, by the way, um, so we have not seen any elders like, legitimately in this game. Well, because I spawned somebody near a house, they started invading my house, so I got a crossbow for one of them. Uh, uh. Are you? Yes, that's how you build, Josh. <laughs> wow, what that's a like? really nice uh, um, abstract art right there. Fortnite be like. <laughs> Okay, so oh. <laughs> Hunger Minecraft Hunger Games. Great era of, of yeah. times. Before before Fortnite. I never played. I never played. Oh man. I used to play that a lot, which is funny because I hate Fortnite. Well I don't hate Fortnite, but I you know, it's it's that thing where it's popular to hate and for a good reason. Well, it's like the idea itself isn't bad, but like the circle jerk to it is honestly cancerous. Yeah, and the, the, the only reason why I think that matters to me, because usually that, that wouldn't for like, because, you know, I don't care about fandoms if I like something, but because it's, you know, a competitive multiplayer game, it makes that community kind of gross. Toxic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that bullshit at all. That's just stupid. I never got yeah. into it. I, I played, like, four matches of it and I saw the appeal but I just couldn't get fixated right. on it like that. Um, I played Minecraft I mean I played uh Fortnite once and I won without killing a single person. And you just like I stayed, stayed in bushes in. the whole time. I only shot one and that was by accident. The whole and the le like it was uh, ended up being me and someone else and they actually fell into a, a, the storm and died and I was like okay. I have a hundred percent win streak. Cool. I'm done. Vaguely reminds me of that time that you came over and like you, you hadn't played a, like many violent <laughs> this games. This is the GTA the time. story. Were, yeah, you like hadn't played many violent violent games. I'm just showing you just RPG blowing you all up, and you're like, that's an issue. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I remember I, I think I got like a rocket launcher and there was like an old lady on the sidewalk and I, I was like point blank obliterated them and I was like, oh, fascinating. That's nice. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, shit. Man. Right, what are we gonna 
Let's go. We've been. Let's keep. Hey, do I have. Oh, I do. Hold on. Hey. Oh man. Another thing I was doing. Um, I was just talking about this. But I was I was trolling, some of my uh, friends from my grad school on this server. I kept going invisible and getting one of those and just creating fire all around them. <laughs> really, really fast. Jesus Christ. Oh, it was wonderful. Um, I was just talking about one of my friends who is the one I'm going to ask about uh, voice acting for uh, Dr. Storm for our uh, animation project. I was going to talk about that a little bit. Um, he, he looks like a lumberjack. And he's used to be a lumberjack, so he always kind of poked fun at him with that. Um, there was one time where he had an encounter where a tree fell on him, so he couldn't move, and a, he, the bear was there. Um, so we always make fun of him for that, because, you know, that's what you do with someone with trauma. Um, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, wonderful. So, yeah. I mean, you know, he jokes about it, too. But, um... <laughs> so I always joke about him with honey, and we... I went to grave mode and covered his house all in honey, and we all just started slathering up and down the honey <laughs> blocks around him. <laughs> and all it was, oh, we got the, the honey, like, sliding achievement, where it was, like, real sticky situation. Oh, he absolutely loved it, for sure. I think he, he started crying in the corner, like, jokingly. It was beautiful. Jesus. Wow, we spent okay, the whole um... day literally just, like, Nothing. <laughs> Dicking around. Um. Oh, it's a baby. Come here. Fucker. Fox. Come here. He turned away for one Hi. second. I'm sorry, my <laughs> just head down in shame. What you say? <laughs> I'm, ah! I'm falling. I wanted to climb up, and I just started running down. Bro, I had like the perfect like opportunity to just smite that fucker, but something just didn't work out. I remember um, the first go around in Breath of the Wild, for some reason, I don't know why I decided to do this, but every time I saw a fox, I had to like drop everything and kill the fox. <laughs> okay. Like, finding a Lionel, there's a fox nearby, just drop everything and run and just kill that fox. I, I, I don't know why. There's literally no actual logic to why I did that, but that was just something I did for my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Well, you are a bad, bad person. I'm a bad boy. Oh no. Deserves a, <laughs> deserves a spanking. Oh man, there is a. <laughs> there is a. So, we're part of a Facebook group called, I think, like Sonic Adventure 2 Hell. And they, they recently renamed it which to like Video Game Hell or something, which is kind of boring. But there was a meme on it recently that's just like. Shadow crying, saying, I'm sorry, kitten, or something like that. Or like, Daddy Shadow. Oh, no. I was like, oh, man, that's a... Uh... Oh, dude, Jacoby. We're not gonna, we're not gonna mention that. <laughs> hey, kitten. Jesus. Man. What a time. Alright. Um. Let's... Go this way. Okay. I don't want to explain that what you're doing for a couple of reasons. Well, I understand. I actually probably should be careful of that given. Oh, fucker. All right, sorry. You're good. Anyways, yeah, I, I get yeah. it totally. You're okay. I'm gonna die. Man, there's just tons of skeletons. Whoa, 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 okay. Dude, I'm just fucking it up out here. Yeah, there's there's lots of things to spawn this time. Let's go around. I wanna get back to the water. Hi sheep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Level twenty five in this game. Hey. Ouch. 
don't even know where you are, but uh, we're just vibing yeah. simultaneously. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I literally named a stream like Vibe in Minecraft, so this is low energy. Lo-fi, uh, lo-fi beats to listen and study. That's what Maya's doing. She's just, oh, rest in peace, Josh. It's okay. This is the one time that I'm actually, like, kind of... Oh, wow. That was Here, cool. do you have a boat on you? A boat? Yeah, I have a boat. Have boat. Or... Boat? Uh, no, but I can okay. make one. Oh. Go get a boat. Oh, you okay. You're gonna do that ah. instead. Fine, I won't kill you. You're gonna kill me if I get Yeah, because boat? then you could go back home and get a boat. But I didn't know you had wood. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> There's a reason oh. to your murder. Yeah, you know, I figured it might be better for both of us. <laughs> Alright, Celeste. <laughs> we keep making mentions to our, uh, to the animation project without giving any. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I, go ahead. I was joking. I'm not saying it's bad. I was thinking that I was I was actually oh, talking a little bit about it. Oh, you meant like legitimately don't. Oh no 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 no! I was, that was me, man. Okay. I wish you could hold torches in Minecraft. It's kind of weird that you can't, to be honest. You know. Yeah, I don't understand why. I mean, there's mods that allow you to do it, but you shouldn't have to mod it to do that. It seems kind of intuitive. Oh my god, I've not seen so much birch. But this is... This is... Bro, I am getting a metaphorical card out. <laughs> For seeing all the cucks? What? I love birch so much. No, birch is my favorite oh, wood birch. because um, it's perfect for, for uh, flooring, in my opinion. It just... The color when you make the planks is just... Sexy. I don't know, but I love birch, and I've never seen this many well, birch you know trees what? in one place. Go right ahead. Take all the birch you need. Well, I'm not gonna, um, but we're gonna mark these cords down because I know I, my inventory is full. Hey, fuck off, dude. Okay. Wow, that Taking that creeper screen. was like oh, ignoring me. He was going after you. He was focused on me. Okay, hold on okay. one second. Yeah, I got some, some torches here. I might light up this area a little bit. It's so dark out here. Cool, I just took a screenshot of the cords. Yeah, this is a fucking phenomenal... This is... This isn't real. I don't believe it's real. <laughs> you have drugged me, Zach. All the way from Florida, you have drugged me. You gave me some, uh... That, um... What is it? Okay, okay, okay. Stay alive, Josh, because I'm gonna die. Exactly. Okay. Do what? Stay alive. Stay alive. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I will try. So, drug do you say? Here, one second. One Hold second. Um. Oops. Oh, my brother's here. You're gonna TP back yeah, now? I was, well, one second. You're good. One 
what's the highest? So you say uh, you're feeling like you took drugs, Josh? Uh, if you don't know what this what this does, I'll do it to myself to show the audience. You you could do like random effects. This is pretty lit, honestly. I'm about to go outside. Oh, I don't want to enjoy. Ah, don't kill me. How long did this last? Uh, I did it for sixty seconds. I could make it as long as I want, though. Okay, make it like two minutes. Okay, hold on. Well, this is Canada part two. Well, I could do a lot of things. Hey, you want to become super? I can make you super. Come here. Come hey, here. hey, Josh, do you want to go fast? Do you want to go fast? Oh, yeah. fast. Um, what's the uh, Keemstar uh, word? I don't even know, to be honest with you. Here, let me TP to you first. Yeah. Uh, here, I'm, I'm gonna make a DB to me. Um, okay. okay. Hello. What? All right. Ready for this? Uh, Ready to go fast, Josh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two seconds. Let me. Uh, what's the word? Is it haste or is it speed? I'll do it for two minutes. All right. I can do 250, I can do 255. What's the highest? Move, Zach. I'm fine. I have heart. Go fast. The super sonic racing. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel the sun. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna go fast with you. Oh my god, this is fucking ignorant. I don't even know where I'm going. What the fuck? Wee! Um... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Are you like. I just flew into a, a cavern. Um, I could teleport myself to you. Hold on. Alright, go ahead. Uh, 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 hold on. I guess it doesn't work in the water, but. Oh my god. I'm fucking. Oh my. Ziza. This is not real. Ow. I just fucking broke my ankle up in this. Did my effect bar off? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> it's funny because you, like, can't even walk. You could only go full sonic speed blast. But you're finding water. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> it makes, like, traveling so difficult. <clears throat> it's funny, if you do... I can also make you jump. If I make it max, you just hit the top of the... Oh, you, like, can't even jump because you jump higher than the actual, like, plane above you. Unless you... So you can't do it max, basically. But if you do, like, mid for both speed and jump, you do pretty fun results. Aw, it wore off. That's okay. Here, I'll give you something else. What should we give... Make me drunk again. What should we give Josh this time? We could do that, yeah. Make me drunk again. Uh, oh, for like a whole hour. Well, let's see the. I, what's the max I could do? It's based off seconds. Based off seconds? Yeah. Or ticks. Yeah, yeah, it's based off seconds. Alright, so 3600 seconds. 3600 seconds? I could do that. That is a whole hour. 
Alright, the 60 times 60? Yeah. Pretty sure. You're welcome. Oh no, I did it to myself! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this together. <laughs> this is not gonna be watchable unless I clear this. I could clear mine, probably. But here, this is what Josh has seen before. <clears throat> here, I'll clear mine, but there you go. For a whole hour. Wow! <laughs> Wow. wow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this, did you make it worse? Uh, yeah, I, I, I brought it to the max. I was pretty close to the max last you time. This, this one is aggressive. Jesus. Okay. Let's see how much I can play. Wait, hold on. Wait. Make it nighttime. I want to try to play. Oh, I can make it blind as well. Okay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be able to see at least. We're trying to mimic, okay, there you street go. fight while it's you're on. I need some help. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> okay, hold on. I am low on health. <laughs> this is disgusting. Good lord. Will I come coming home after DeAndre's bachelor party? Uh, let's see here. I think I could do effect clear. Come on. Okay, that should be good. Come here, you saucy fucker. There we go. You I'm back to level. You ain't nothing. Ah, screw it. I'm going creative. I'm going to go square ain't, Josh. You ain't nothing. Come on. <clears throat> you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna teleport to my brother. You ain't. Drop off my stuff. <clears throat> oh. Hey, Joey. You wanna How's go too? Going? Okay, yeah. My depth perception is surprisingly okay with this one. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Uh, we're gonna drop it off where we actually know where we are. I mean, it's all connect. You? Not yet. Not yet. Fun. Know that I have the uh, wrong effect on? No, yeah, he'll let me know. Um... <laughs> As punishment for his sins. <laughs> Joe just says, oh no. do to mess with Josh. So invisible potion. Of course. And then sorry, is that okay on this uh stream? what I didn't hear what you said. Oh I typed it out. Oh. But... Um horrible. horrible. What? No never mind. Anyways. Woo! Hey what are we doing? I'm just <laughs> sitting here. It's fine. It's fine. I'd be wary of uh Something. So just just be, you know, careful. But you're you're okay. That wasn't no, too bad though. You're fine. Cool. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Um. 
I don't like that. I don't like whatever this is. Let's do that. Oh, I got that one. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Definitely that. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Well, anyways. <clears throat> Winter. Yeah. Let's do that. Let me remove that one. Let's do. These are always fun. I do like. Honestly, but when you went, when you went, hmm, just just there. Yeah. You kind of sounded like you kind of sounded like a a new type of villager <laughs> that I didn't understand. I was like, what? What is this right now? Oh no. <laughs> All right, this should be good for now. Actually, let's remove one of these. Remove oh, this one. That way he could be invisible. And he won't know. You know, I just said it. I'm going to rename this. Uh, oh. I'm gonna rename this to uh, also There we go. Also Dagging Josh. Where'd he go? Are those spawning as you uh, I haven't spawned anything yet. This is literally just natural. You have set the fucking hardcore, don't you? Or not hardcore, uh, just uh, hard. It's either hard or normal. But yeah, there's a lot. I'm actually going to weigh in spawning things. Because this is... You have enough to deal with right now. We're just going to observe. Okay. Alright, well. Come here! I had... I had... I, I, come on! Does that, that fucker have a sword? Hey, take me back, please. Oh no, I don't have to drop that phone. Sucks. Whatever. <laughs> what a time. What the fuck? Try that again. I just I got know. there. You got like husks here and stuff. Okay, let me let me bring you somewhere a little bit safer. Sun's rising, anyways. Then it'll be my turn. I mean, you're gonna blow me up anyways. I mean, mean, yes, but at least let me be the one torturing you, Josh. Not just the game. Zick. You're like. I don't know. Oh. Here we go. Whoa! Where are you? There you are. I see your ass. <laughs> well, that's... I still feel you. Now you don't. Uh... No, I still feel you. Yeah, I got some particle effects. Um... You're, you're right. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I see. You. Yep, absolutely. That's where I'm at. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. We need that. Can you give me the, uh... Do you have a knockback stick still? Or uh, I can make that pretty easily. Figured. 
I'm gonna add an extra challenge to you though, Josh. What's that? Okay. I'll give you the knockback stick too, though. Give me a moment to make it. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one. Oops, uh, I want to do this. Nope, that's a YouTube channel. That's not, that was a cow's video. All right, Josh, there you go. Nice. So just so people know, Josh can't see right now. I made him blind. Oh, Josh. Is that, is that, did you make a fucking shoulder? Oh no, you did. Fuck out of here. Oh, you bitch. You gave me the knockback stick, but oh no, you, you are <laughs> not okay. You. No, that's actually the worst. I hate your face. You're actually. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Goodbye, fool. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go respawning. By the way, oh, um, I want to show you something. Don't don't destroy it, but this is actually naturally spawning. I want to show this to you. It's actually really cool. Uh, I don't know if you actually be able to see it well. Uh... Well, I'm not okay, blind yeah. anymore because I died. Look, this is oh. a naturally spawning, uh, failed um, Nether portal. Yeah, it's a thing they added to these. Uh, you know, in the new update, they appear That's once really in a cool. while. Yeah, it's like uh, I feel like they're trying to go for like a, they're trying to immerse you in that like old world effect where you feel like you know people have been here before you, and it kind of adds to the mystery and the you know, game. I feel yeah. Like. I don't know. I really like it. Good lord. We, we made it so it doesn't break uh, things. It's funny because it looks like they're teleporting away, but you're really just using the high knockback sword, uh, stick against them. The problem is they come back. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> I'm okay if they go in the water. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're going crazy. You're all angry. Water, he says, eh? Watery says, A. Oh no. Oh no. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was on half a heart, so it doesn't help. No, that's fair. But, wonderful. Oh hey! This is cute. Here. I'll start you in here. Nice little quaint house. What in the fuck? Oh, there. Uh. 
Ha! What now? Fine. You fine. Ooh, we got a breaking um iron golem here. I'm fine. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Here, watch your step, buddy. Okay, cool. I see. You, you, uh, created a pickle. Are they killing each other? Fascinating. I can stand on top of them, that's pretty funny. I feel them. I. You know, I'm trying to make this more interesting, but I still have fucking mind fatigue. Yeah. It is an interesting situation for sure. And, um. I didn't think it's true. Uh... Enough of that. <laughs> I like how literally there's tons of villagers just walking front among these creepers, like everything's fine. Because creepers don't care about villagers. Oh, man. Man, fuck it. Like, look at this. They. Oh, this golem's drowning. No! This golem just killed itself. Uh -huh. hey, hey, I got some gunpowder for you Let's see here. We're gonna let's get something else that's fun. Oh, good job! I heard that. Alright. Alright, Josh. You know what happens in these situations? 
Yes. Do you know? Do you know what happens in these situations? Oh, I didn't expect you to. Uh, I, I thought you're still gonna be there. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you know what happens? I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. Uh... <laughs> oh, Josh. Oh, Josh! Come here! Turn around! He's not gonna turn around. Okay. Oh. I see you going your own way. I took my own um, way. <laughs> yeah. What now? Oh. I mean... I mean... I can still make you suffer. Yeah, true. What in the fuck? Oh, wait. Still loading. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was either a very laggy thing or. Because I hit it several times, but still. Alright, Josh. Go at it. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait a bit. Whoa, hold on. Slow loading. Slow processing. Alright, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna spawn you a little farther away. Yeah, cause it's like taking a second to load like my terrain. <laughs> my brother's probably like, shot by the wither? What's happening over there? He's also probably like, he's not surprised. Yeah, probably not. You're right. Okay, there it is. I see it wreaking havoc. Come here, you. We'll, we'll let him deal with it. Oh, you! Get out the me swamp! <laughs> Spawns Ender Dragon. It's kind of the shulkers I spawned a while ago. Get out me swim! Get out me swim! <laughs> I was like, wait, why are you flying? I forgot. Oh no, it's because the shulkers are around. I knew I was gonna see that. Oh my god. Oh, fuck out of here, bro. Okay. Well. Josh, stay determined! There is one thing I got from that exchange. And for some reason, it's a piece of green carpet. There it goes. Yep. Lag. Oh, no. Yeah, luckily we made it so it doesn't break terrain. So you could probably use that for to your advantage. Bye. Do you have a bow that can use? Yes. I do. That's here. Uh, we'll do that. Arrows. Whoa. Yeah, that works. There's some arrows for you. You there, Josh? Yeah, I'm here. One okay. second. Oops. Mm. 
Okay, we're about to try this. You only give me five I arrows. I gave you sixty-four. Oh, whatever. Oh, I see. I already had some apparently. I was adding top. Well, by a little bit. I like how this was the start with like chill vibes, and now it's just this. Actually, genuinely, I'm gonna fight this thing. Uh, I already have gar. Wow, my armor is like almost gone. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna fight this thing. That I do probably need to stuff. It heals fast. Um, I forgot how fast withers. Yeah, I do. Um, I need to have like a bunch of gaps. Okay. Help. Um, I am. I'm just definitely not equipped to fight this. Yeah, where are you, to be Josh? Honest, never. Back in my house, to be honest, I have never actually fought. Before. Really? Oh, this is so... a perfect opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I'd be right. Here, here, I'll teleport you here, oh. and I'll give you the stuff you need. Uh, what do you need? Okay, hold on. Okay. Wait. I'm not even really sure how to fucking really beat it, other than just brute strength. Yeah. Um, okay. I could probably use a new set of diamond armor because. Fucking. Hold on. Creeper. Yeah, I could probably oh, use man. a new set of diamond armor because my current set is about to. Go bye bye. There you go. Oh, where'd you go? I just give you the stuff over here, Josh. You know, I'm, uh. Apparently, only 3% of people who spawn the Wither actually are able to beat it. 3%? Apparently, there was a stat for that. It was something like that. I almost don't Yeah, it that. seemed weird to me, too. Because I felt like I've beat the it Wither at least a few times, legitimately. It seems hard, but I don't know about yeah, that. It, it seemed... I'll look it up again, but I'm pretty sure that's what the stat was, which is really strange to me. But also, like, it didn't make sense to me because, like, what do you do? Just leave in your, like, abandon the server you're on? Do you want a chest? Yeah, it might have helped. <laughs> Here you go. I'll give you a second one. You need to build it because at this, at this point, nothing is, like, the right things aren't even, like, coming to me. It's always the wrong thing. Do you want the new netherite sword? Sure. It does a whole whopping oh, uh, eight attack damage. It's a whoop. It is one back to you. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Take the sword, Josh. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just gonna. What the fuck? There. There we go. I have never wielded this before. It's amazing. All right. Um. Yeah. Could you like put the chest down like yourself? Because otherwise, I can't. Yeah. Okay. It's just being. Oh, we actually. You know, have no, to. I got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. Oh my god, that's so much better. There you go. I don't know what's happening anymore. Mm 
Could you give me? Hmm. You need food. Uh, you need some uh, some 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 foodie woody in your tummy, Lord. Yeah, my tummy wummy is rumbling, rumbling. You know what you need? You need some nice, healthy mouth baked potatoes. Happy Thanksgiving, Josh. Bro, I fucking love big potatoes. There's no turkey in this game, but you know what? Here's your your Happy Thanksgiving. It's not even Thanksgiving anymore. Happy Thanksgiving. Fuck yeah. Here's some salmonella to go with it. Don't eat that one. Uh... Actually, I'm about to eat that one first. Good. Come on, let me. Never mind. Uh, Do it. Do come it. Come on, let me. I Do can't. it. <laughs> I can't. Do it. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't. Where'd it go? Oh no. You know. I mean, the bar's still up there, so it's still nearby. It's up to God now. Well. <laughs> This is how the apocalypse starts. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, God doesn't exist. You, I, I'm funny YouTube atheist from 2008. <laughs> I just defeated you with facts and logic. LOL. I'm the big brain on the comment section. The most wrinkly of brains. I'm the big brain. I have... An IQ of 152, as tested by a sketchy random website. <laughs> According to BuzzFeed. My IQ is 152. I'm a freaking genius. Man. That's a thing. Um. I mean, TJ boys be like... Dude, I, I hate the MBTI now. I honestly got so into it back in the day. Really, Remind like... Remind me what that is again? That's the, uh... Meyer oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was so into that, thinking that it really was some shit, and I kind of fell for the meme a little bit. I mean, bit. I also enjoy uh, the cool. Harry Potter houses, you know? Yeah, it's similar, like... But the thing is, though, like, there's a specific meme with the INTG, INTJ mm -hmm. type. A lot of people who test that type will read the description and think that they're, like, a freaking mastermind. And it's it honestly really cringy. You'll find YouTube videos of people being like, huh, inside my INTJ mind and things like that. And it's just the most self absorbed, head up your ass type people you'll find. On the it's internet. interesting. I'm an INTJ. I find it really interesting how much mind. zodiac science. Oh, hey, I think I know where the weather is because the skull's flying over here. Oh, you get a point. So that direction. Um, oh, I oh, good. Go fight it. Um, zodiac signs are kind of coming back, which I find fascinating. So okay, here's my here's my deal with zodiac signs. Um, zodiac signs. I mean, obviously BS for a multitude of reasons, but um, yeah. First of all, <laughs> you know we. And I, I've really looked into this mostly because I've actually been looking into studying it for the uh, for the Splinter Soul Universe thing that I've been working on, the animation series. So I'm actually using Zodiac stuff for certain things. So I've been I was looking at I was doing a lot of research for it. Um, here's my thing. I know you'll be very busy right now, so I'm sure you won't. I'm definitely gonna need a bow and arrow to go on. Here, you're a bow. I got you a bow. There's a bow. It's on the ground. Oh go pick God. it up. Horrible. I'm just, I'm just stuck like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll whack it from up here. This. Dude, holy shit, it's so no, yeah, this head. thing's not meant. This is basically going to a raid boss. You're not supposed to be it by yourself. People have. I, I, I'm gonna die. We'll do the Zodiac spiel after this. Alright, get back here, Josh. I did. I need more ammo. I like how I spawned you, you're just frozen in the air, getting pelted by this wither. 
I definitely need more uh, ammo. Okay, here, I'm gonna spawn sure. you farther away. Um, farther away and more arrows, because I only okay. have two. <laughs> I like how this village is like, yep, yeah, normal day. Um, in craft of <laughs> mine. Um, but yeah, so Zodiac symbols. Here's my biggest critique of it. So, there's 12 Zodiacs, right? Allegedly. Uh, well, we'll get to that. You know, there's 12 Zodiacs that people know of mostly, right? Yeah. And they're based off when the sun goes through the ecliptic, uh, through its ecliptic, the sun passes 12 celestial star uh, constellations. Celestial, or sorry. Shiny dot in sky when you go claw. Yeah. So, what it is. They found, like, there's about 12 that the sun passes over. And those 12 embody an even amount the zodiac signs, and they affect your personality and stuff like that. At least the sun sign does. Um, there's other signs, too. It's interesting because... If you look at, like, how long... Not only... It's okay. Sorry. I, I'm trying to find my words, because I'm also... I'm very frustrated that Bell's very fascinated by how this works. Um, there's 12 Zodiacs people know of. And we see them as evenly distributed. Thing is, though, constellations are different sizes. Because, you know, it's different stars, different sizes. Scorpio... If you, if you look at the actual time frame of how long the sun is passing over constellations, you would have six days. I could double actually let me double check. I think I think it's about six days. It's only there's only six days in the year that you can be a Scorpio. That's fascinating, by the way. You set it up to where if I try to fire at you, I just get hurt. That was by accident, okay. but you're welcome. Um, oh, and then, like, and then for other ones, it's, like, 42 days and stuff like that. So they're very unevenly distributed. On top of that, there's technically two other constellations that go through the sun's ecliptic. Uh, and that is, um, the snake one, Ophilio something, and, um, Cetus for, like, half a day. So... Basically, that makes the whole thing very distributed. So now what NASA did was now it's like, here's the real Zodiac signs and showed that. Which, you know, got a lot of people there into this very upset. Um, I would like to, and I do like pretty much mm -hmm. agree with you. Um, I would like to have, like, I would like to listen to uh, somebody I know who's like super into Zodiac. Uh, their response to this because... Uh, I like to give. Uh, oh no no no! I I mean, like I said, I I looked deep into this because I, I I've been looking at like what astrologists' yeah. point of view of this oh, is. I agree. Um, I understand. Yeah. I, I, I do want to hear. Yeah no no absolutely yeah de sure. definitely do that for sure. I want to say, but it's fucking yeah, it's pretty fucking yeah. ridiculous. For, for, from um, the astrologist's point of view, which is not the same thing as astronomy. Astrology is the Zodiac astronomy is a study of space. Um, astronomy is well defined and respected. yeah, astrology is pseudoscience. I love pseudoscience, by the way. Parapsychology, cryptozoology, I love that stuff. It's really fun. You can't take it totally seriously for obvious reasons, but I still enjoy that stuff. Well, you know, I will say, and uh, to this day, after having investigated a lot, because I used to be super into mm -hmm. parapsychology, there still are some things in parapsychology that do definitely raise some actual eyebrows and deserve further investigation. Yeah, for sure. It, uh, the issue with studies in parapsychology is that they're not usually uh, repeatable, which is why... Um... They're not They're not easily repeatable, and also, in general, they're just hard right. to test. Um, it's hard to really test for things like ghosts. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, so, so just talk about the animation series that I've been, that we've been working on when I've been writing the script for it. Um... Like, because, you know, like, Dr. Storm is supposed to be a cryptozoologist and parapsychologist, essentially. 
I fucking love oh, he he's a uh, he's an interesting one. <laughs> but um, yeah, back with the zodiac stuff. So, and this is how I kind of wrote it out for Swinter Soul Two, just to kind of make it make more sense. Uh, the twelve zodiacs are not the constellations, and that's how a lot of astrologists kind of see it now. It is just sections in the uh, is breaking into sections of the planet, essentially, or sections of the time of the years, rather. That co they are named after the the constellation zodiacs, created by uh, the ancient Mesopotamians and Babylonians. Does that make sense? I mean, yeah. I mean, I um. Yeah. yeah, because what it is is um, technically those twelve zodiacs matched better the thousand thousand years ago when the Babylonians, uh, you know, created the concept of the zodiac, and they've been shifted ever since. Um, but they're essentially they timed up with their twelve months of the year, which we also have because twelve months works very well, you know. Uh, ancient Babylonians are really good with calendars and whatnot. Um, but so essentially, their main idea is like, oh, when these things you know pass through, it affects things like your culmination of your being, your personality, and whatever. You know, something I wanted to mention earlier, and I, for, I had forgotten it for a second. Mm-hmm. Um, related to all this, because obviously I agree with you, I'm super skeptical and often laugh at zodiac yeah. stuff. Um, yeah. The thing is, every time I talk about this to somebody who is really into Zodiac, it sucks because they're technically right from a lore standpoint. They'd be like, ah, that's, that's such a Virgo thing to say. Because Virgos are supposed to be super analytical right. and uh, all that shit. And it's like every time I try to bring this type of shit up to them, they're like, oh, but you're just a Virgo, so you overanalyze. So, you're, you're, you're just fulfilling what I'm talking about, pretty much. Like, oh, you're just a scientist just because they're, they're born that way, Josh. Yeah, it... it, it... You know, but I'm, you know, it's like, it's an ironic thing where it's like, I'm technically, like, I probably make them think they're more right, but that doesn't make them more Here's right. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> if you look at the actual, like, Zodiac stuff, the, the sun sign isn't the only thing that matters. In fact, rising signs probably matters more in sense of what people... Appear, like you appear as. Yeah, you know, a full ass star. Show. You made two winners. Nope. Joey did. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, there's a whole ass sign chart. <laughs> Sykes zodiac sign. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> My zodiac sign. I'm a Leo, by the way, in case that matters to people. But um, the rising sign and moon sign are also very important things to astrology in the sense of like figuring out your culmination and all that stuff. Um, and yeah. even though it's not accurate, I do think just how I see like like with, with like other um, belief systems, it makes you feel good and learn stuff about yourself then that's great you know as long as you don't do things like oh i use healing crystals to cure my cancer then that's not good but hey if you do it to for like you know like asmr you know if you do it to make yourself feel better but understand that it's not going to help you medically i think that's fine you know people go through do rituals and different you know beliefs to you know it's therapeutic and therapy is something that is beneficial so I'd say in that sense that's good, but I, we're getting a bit too broad to think. But yeah, I, I think I think it's cool though. Um, I'm enjoying the discussion. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I hmm? kind of, sorry, what did you say? Uh, well, you finish. First. But yeah, um, going back with the zodiac stuff, um, <laughs> back to kind of critiquing the structure of it, um, or actually this does give it a little bit of benefit. It's ironic that modern astrology doesn't discern the 12 zodiacs as um the constellations anymore but rather the the sections where the planet is around the sun uh because there is high correlation with personalities and months you're born 
and you actually have there's actually psychological studies that do have a correlation with that so it's kind of ironic that some of that works like for example um certain mental disorders are more frequent with people born in win in the winter seasons so like there are studies you can find with that and then you could kind of put that in more detailed stuff with the zodiac signs that you want to because there's studies that like even like april babies have i think it's like april babies are more likely to be ceos and things like that there's actually studies of that but again you know they're not that we know how that affects people but because it's all correlation not causation um that's interesting you know for sure so no give that'll be one but that'll be one prop i guess i give to it oh hi there's a the wither <laughs> my zodiac sign is the wither i like you fell back in the space <laughs> we were before but yeah i'm gonna like camp here for a second i want to look, I want to look up uh, yeah this. yeah um but um i i yeah i don't i i think it's cool and i really like that kind of stuff in the sense of just like looking up like you know just as much as i like you know looking up mythology you know i, I see it as a mythology so it's really fun to study you know and you know there's a the therapeutic aspect to it which is cool but you know you say oh you're doing this because you're this thing i i don't like the idea of you're bounded by you know personality thing oh you're a hufflepuff so you believe in this like i, I don't like that you know yeah. yeah. But, like, sure. hey, if, if you were friends um, with a bunch of Leos and all that, then also. Hey, Dark Phoenix, how's it going? How are you? We're just <laughs> messing around in Minecraft and talking about zodiac signs. <laughs> you, know, you reminded me, too, if you're talking about, like, uh, you know, these type of beliefs leading to leading some people to do things that are extremely unhealthy or unsafe for them. And you mentioned crystals specifically, which really bug me for more reasons than you might imagine. For one, I, I'm, you know, for all of Oh, you're purposes, a geologist, I'm right? Geologist. I'm about to be getting my bachelor's Which is really awesome. You know what, okay. Sorry. That, oh, something about Leo's. You know, poor, um, I hear people say things like quartz will clear their energy and blah, 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 or channel their energy or whatever, what have you. It's really annoying because it's just, I, you know, from like a reductionist standpoint, to hear that type of shit just really annoys me. It just sounds so stupid and nasty, but I, I don't. Again, as long as they're not trying to do it to like cure their cancer or something like that, I can't really yeah. blame them or I can't really like get mad at them. You're right. <laughs> but it also makes me cringe too because I'm, uh,. These tend to be beliefs that are held by. Uh, yeah, I won't go, I won't go too far with that, but people. yeah. Huh? Yeah, no, I, I get you though. But um, here, one second. Huh? I, I'm also Leo, by the way. <laughs> so. Someone doing? in the comments is uh, Dark Phoenix is saying they're a Leo, because we're they hear the part where we're talking talk about Leos. Uh, ah, yeah. I see. But you know, I actually. I can get to, get into it another time, but it's just It's definitely interesting stuff to talk about for sure. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> um so as we were talking about this, my brother spawned a wither called my Zodiac sign. <laughs> Which is not this one. This is another one we spawned because I was trolling with Josh. Oh he's dead again. No, uh, no. I, I see it. You just here. Uh, but you didn't see it because uh, I said so. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. Here, you'll be fine in here. What? I was in bed, and then you brought me out to burn it up. You're welcome. Just Leo things, right? <laughs> so, I'm a psychology major, so I question all correlate and whatnot. No, 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 for sure. That I I fully understand that too. Um, and I love psychology. A lot actually it's it's really it's really interesting seeing that stuff but yeah no obviously correlation doesn't equal causation and all that um i was funny up here josh uh okay it's been lagging a lot it's probably because we have a bunch of bs we spawned everywhere 
So I think the last time we played, uh, I spawned like tons of um, stakes into Josh's inventory and it crashed the server. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. again. Joey's on the server. I'm not gonna do that. Do I'll again. I'll give you plenty of baked potatoes. How about that? I'll just here. Here's some baked potatoes for you for the season. No, no, no. no. You gotta spawn. <laughs> I'm gonna crash About the server again. Josh. Mk. 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 Hashtag Leo exactly. things. Absolutely. <laughs> What's up? Just. Man, that's it. what a Virgo would say, Josh. Make your dreams Make come your true. dreams. Just do it. Uh, uh. <laughs> so it's we started we started this stream with Minecraft with just like you know nice chill walk around talking and stuff, and then like <laughs> it ended up being slowly me torturing Josh <laughs> and spotting stuff, and then we talked about zodiac signs. <laughs> It's the cringe of healing crystals. <laughs> you know, they did a fucking study one time, by the way, where they laid them down on people. Oh, did, they, they didn't get they worse, did they? Them. They compared them to, like, fake crystals that looked, like, very mm -hmm. convincing, by the way. And uh, people reported the same effect. Oh, interesting. Did you so, know that... Yeah. This is also just an interesting thing. Um... Um, I don't know if I should talk too much about it, but um, th there's a study that, uh, and again, you know, cost agent correlation, and, like, I don't know much about the study, because you shouldn't just, like, say, oh, this study, so it's true, but there was one study that I yeah. thought was kind of funny, where, like, people who are um, in the hospital, and they and when people, groups of people say they're going to pray for them, sometimes it get worse because they they don't try to get better because they know people are praying for them. So, like, you know, do the work, too. I think it's, I'm not saying it's bad to pray for people in that situation, but, you know, do, get better, too, in that situation, you know? Hell yeah, it, it's definitely, like, when it comes to medical things, that is something I just don't mess with. Um, I really think you need to take uh, the doctor's advice very seriously. Um, there is, on the, on the uh, flip here. side, though, because we're talking about parapsychology and interesting things that do need to be looked at, there have been some experiments that have shown that, like, intention or thought, possibly on the quantum level, might be influencing things. Quantum Especially thought. when it comes to, like, group putting. But it's, again, it's a replicability issue. Um, oh my god, okay. That didn't even hurt me at all, unless I'm lagging. Yep, I'm lagging. I'm lagging for sure. <laughs> Sorry, go on, Josh. <laughs> uh, pretty much just, uh, yeah, there's some parapsychology experiments I want to see replicated, but that's it. Hi, Mushroom. Man, don't you love our non, like, cheated Minecraft server? <laughs> Mushrooms of random spots and just... Yeah, it's also okay. fun that when I die, I don't lose anything. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think it still keeps the chill vibes. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> The hell is this over oh, here? Um, I'll let you check it out. I'm fine here. If this is the one I'm thinking of. Is this the bedrock had, tower I made? You had no voice in the map. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about is it. This? Oh, don't worry about it. Nothing to see here. I have something spooky up here. All right, what should I, what should I do? Let's mess with Josh more. One second. Let me get to land real quick, and then let's have a message. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to hold on. Look okay. up message. Up here. Uh, is there a break for me up here? 
We're gonna build a little little den for him to go there too. How are you tonight, by the way, Dark Phoenix? <laughs> Hope we're having a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it, by the way. But yeah, I love psychology. Psychology. I have, I have a psychology minor, so it's not a good job that you can do much with there. But like, you know, I, I I've always had a big interest in psychology, so it's kind of it's cool. I like it a lot. I think he's AFK. Babu, and how are you, Maya? How's your address coming? I'm good. Being entertained. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad we could be. <laughs> Man, okay. I, I go wait for him. The second he comes back, I'll, I'll light this all up. Nice, your miners in social work and theater. Very cool, very cool. Are you back, Josh? I heard him say something. Okay. Yeah, theater's awesome. I really like theater, too. Um, my eyes like, ooh, theater. Yes, definitely. Um, I, with my undergrad, I had a psych minor, then I had a arts and new media studies double major. Did he escape? <laughs> David, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I, I faked it so much. You were like, did you come back? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I should have figured it out, man. <laughs> Metal gear. Metal gear. But yeah. Um, and then for grad school, I have a, um, I have a master's degree in interactive entertainment, which is basically I make video game art and do video game stuff. He's lying yeah, I'm, I'm a liar. No, I'm not. But I will say I'm. But no. He doesn't have a degree. <laughs> yeah, no, I have no degrees. What are you talking about? <laughs> I he didn't. Works at McDonald's. I didn't spend eight, nine. Wait, okay. Uh, for college, for uh, five five years, because my my master's degree is only a year, but well, sixteen months. I didn't spend that long, you know, suffering to get my degrees. Absolutely not. But yeah, yeah. Maya does uh, costume tech, which is awesome. She she's amazing. You, hey, Maya, go post your uh, your Instagram. Uh, she does like a lot of cool cosplays and stuff like that, and she's very very talented. Absolutely, very talented person. But yeah. I do video game stuff. I work for a simulation simulation company right now and do some like three D modeling for stuff like that, which is fun. Hey Josh, you wanna fly? Oh, I see you got that stick yeah. out. Well, time to get my. Actually, it's actually not the same. It's not the same stick. No, I put it back in the chest. Here. I think so. I, I don't think any of you guys in the chat have seen this yet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you something very special, and it's my favorite thing in this game to, to summon. This is a stick with a thousand knockback. Well, I just found one. Okay, let, let, let me let Hello. me summon a pig. You want to see a pig fly? You want to see a pig fly? I'll, I'll show you what happens when you make a pig fly in this game. All right, see this pig? <laughs> Whoosh! Here, I'll show it again. We can also make him fly too if we need to. We're gonna do that. We're gonna see how far we can make Josh fly. Are you? Because I just died. You just died? Well, I'll make you come back. My well, whole point is to torture you right now, Josh. Good luck with that because uh, I still have to hit respawn. Well,. Oh. Or no? Yeah. Am I respawn near your side? I, I don't. It said you respawn, but I don't see you. Let me try again. 
Okay, perfect. So I can just literally decline. I don't have to hit respond. I have to hit respond. I guess bet you for the nice. server, Josh. <laughs> I can just What's bet that? you for the server. Well, that's not no, it's nice. That. I'm kidding. I will. <laughs> yeah, no, we we got some we got some cool friends here. I love it. Got some talented folks. Uh, and then there's Josh, who studies uh, rocks, which is also pretty cool. Yeah, I'm about to try to... Alright, here's up there. I... Oh my god, it's like the most money you can make in geology is in oil. That makes sense. But I don't... I have some moral problems with that. I might try to go for the mining sector, because that's like a necessary evil. But... I don't know. Um, I might... I'm, not, I'm probably just going to try to get involved in hydrogeology. Like, freshwater... That'd be cool. That actually sounds really cool. But they don't. They, they get paid okay. Um, you tend to want to get a master's if you want to get paid yeah. very well. But I mean, just, honestly, at the end of the um, day, like if you love it, that that I mean, like obviously, like you need to have a job that you could financially support yourself with. But like, um, I don't. Know, happiness is a big factor in life, and a job is going to be a good chunk of your life, a good proportion for the rest of your so life, really. Happy so might as well just thing you enjoy with less money. That's something you hate with more money. You know. I'm not so looking forward to student debt. Uh, which, by the way, fucking... Recently, I saw something, and maybe you can tell me if I'm wrong. I think Biden was trying to explore the idea of, like, forgiving up to 11K each student. And I'm like, that's great, but um, that's not really going to do much. Yeah, I... I to be yeah, we'll see how that turns out for sure. I, I'm glad, though, that there's at least a lot of talk about conversation debt, yeah a conversation about it better than better than just oh well, that's just a crazy idea like no like you you don't realize the fucking crisis on the, on your hands yeah. like that was genuinely like a crisis my says debt. the burp timing was and i hate my says huh? the burp timing was great did someone burp i'm confused that was a while ago oh, I maybe thought, it was... I, I thought i burped a while ago but, um, you know, it is genuinely a crisis. And, like, yeah, you can say all day, haha, you took out a loan and paid it back. But that's. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted because the two withers are fighting. Are, are making out? Are They're doing I something. Maybe this is not appropriate to, to show on show, show Twitch here. The Circle of Life. Yeah, what, what, what are the knockback swords? I'm sorry. <laughs> you were talking about something very serious. I got distracted by shiny things. Oh, he's gone. You are all I, hit, I hit the wither with the knockback stick. Um, It's somewhere else now. But sorry, go on about the. <laughs> sorry. I feel bad. You're fine. Honestly, I kind of forgot the rant I was about to go on, but pretty much. Uh... It's it's not that simple. Yeah, no. Uh, especially no, when you sure. are somebody who is, you know, mid twenties, you have a fair yeah. amount of student I, debt, and I, you have to try to balance other bills and things on top right. of it. Um, no, it's, 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 student debt's it's an issue. It's a national issue for sure. You know, it's not that simple to be oh just pay back you know, a hundred thousand, and then also by the way you know you. You're faced the situation oftentimes you like at school with, oh, well, find a job. Okay, you get to a job interview. Oh, what's your experience? Oh, well, I just got out of school. Oh, you have no experience? Sorry, we don't want to. <laughs> yeah, or, there is, and, like, some jobs that are like, I want, like, 10 years of Autodesk Maya experience when Maya was out only for eight years. And it's like, <laughs> how, the how does this yeah. work? Yeah. yeah. No, like, getting a job, even in my degree... Um, it was hard getting a job. I, I applied for over a hundred jobs, and I finally got, I, I got, you know, a couple acceptance things. But like, you know, I have, you know, like a master's degree. Like, I, I'm pretty skilled in my field in that situation. But even then, it's really hard to get a job in general with anything. And you know, on top of that, with it debt, is. which is a necessity to get is, rid of. You're sold this idea. You know, exiting. Or, sorry, one second. And yes, Maya is very. Sorry, Josh, one second. <laughs> 
Maya's very talented. Definitely check her out. She is an amazing artist. Anyways, you gotta go, but enjoy the stream. Thank you! Thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. We'll see you later. I'll definitely stop by uh, your streams later, too, by the way. But, yes. Um, for everyone else in the chat, by the way, Maya, she, uh, Dark Phoenix also is a streamer, so go definitely check her out, too. She's a very fun streamer, for sure. But, yes. <laughs> Have a good one. Sorry, Josh, what are you saying? You are fine. Uh, pretty much just the idea that uh, in high school you're just sold the idea that you need to get a diploma, higher you need to pursue higher education in order to get a good job. Yeah. And trades more or less aren't really talked mm -hmm. about. Which honestly, if going looking back on it, I would probably have gotten a trick, like learned a trade, like probably like a, I probably probably would have learned to become an electrician or something first. Right. Uh, done that, and uh, stacked my money, and then gone to school. That would have been what I have, would have done. Mm -hmm. but it's not really talked about, you know. And trades are actually in high demand right now too. Right. So wish I would have known that. Mm -hmm. but... And yes, for sure, Maya. It's actually funny. Um, for right. um, I I uh, I rated her and. Because she was like, she was one of the people I was following. I think it was like a friend of a friend kind of thing. And I didn't remember like how I knew her, but I was like, this, you know, these streets are awesome. And she's she's a really awesome person, just from seeing her streams. But so yeah. Oh, thank you for the bits. <laughs> really appreciate it. I was just saying how awesome you were. <laughs> so thank you. Really appreciate it. But yeah. Very, very cool person. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, the world is a fun place to be. And uh, <laughs> if we want to go extreme, this all boils down to capitalism. <laughs> yeah. Not that I, I want mean... to say capitalism bad, everything else is good, because obviously. All of them are bad and, and a lot high amounts. Cap capitalism is a high amount for here, which is why it's bad. But we, I think, there w w at the end of the day, we you know definitely don't need communism. Well, yeah, I, I think going extreme in any direction is bad, but pretty much uh, we just need to invoke most more socialistic mm -hmm. aspects. It's crazy. We reached thirty viewers uh, that night too. Nice night. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cool. Dark Phoenix. What happened? Uh, she got like three viewers at night and got rated like three more times after me. That's that, that's actually really fun. Just getting rated by a bunch of people over like over a period of one stream. Anyways, for real, take care. You too. You too. Thank you for coming by. Really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. But yes, the, the world is something. <laughs> I know that's kind of a dumb, blanket statement, but... I mean, you're... I get you, man. Smooth, fr smooth brain. Everything's everything's fine, what you're talking about. Yeah, the enlightened centrist. <laughs> man, that's kind of the worst. I mean, I, I never... I'm not going to start messing with other political things right now. <laughs> it was actually pretty fun. Like, we was literally just, like, crapped around and talked about cool stuff and also trolled each other. This was nice. I think I think the, the good vibes uh, name still applies to this, even when we talked about deep stuff. You know? Josh? Yeah, sorry, one okay. <laughs> But yeah, life's really cool. I, I, I definitely, I feel like Twitch is something that, like, I mean, obviously I'm very small channel here you know but it's it's something that's really oh there's a nice card in here 
don't know. I was saying this in my last... Uh, in, uh, it's actually part of the same stream, but the Paper Mario game I was playing earlier in the stream. Like, it's, it's really nice just the type of social media it is and the type of connections you have. Like, people are just really nice. Like, I've had really, really nice experiences here. Like, just people being really nice, you know? It's, it's really sweet. It's just like, I don't know. There needs to be more kindness in the world, and it's really cool being new here and seeing so many kind people. Because, like, I think that's one thing that a lot of all the social media doesn't do well, but it's what Twitch does because of the interaction, interactivity of it, is that, like, kindness, like, both benefits everyone in sense of growth and whatnot, but also, like, it just makes people happier, too. So it's like all benefits to be kind, which is cool because you you see a lot of like like YouTube for example, it a lot of it strives on a lot of toxicity, you know like drama channels are a huge thing. Yeah, I never encountered better vibes other online than Twitch. Honestly, yeah, like it's seriously, it's really, it's a really positive environment for, for at least my personal experience, you know. Like, it's just a really good social media in the sense of, like, the culture of it. I, I've talked about, like, social media culture before, I think, in a different stream. But, like, like you know, like, YouTube definitely often strives on, like, drama, you know, and, like, controversy. Even, like, Twitter is a good example of that with cancel culture and Twitter is a huge thing. It, it really thrives on, you know... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, this yeah. person's over party, yeah. all that stuff. But, like, honestly, I haven't, like you said, I, I, me too, I haven't had a better experience in sense of, like, just vibes of people than Twitch. It's just so chill and awesome, you know? I love it. And, obviously, this, you know, I'm still pretty new here, so, like, I haven't seen any bigger stuff or whatever, but, like, I'm still, I just appreciate my experience here a lot. I'm gonna cry tear now. <laughs> it's sweet. It's really cool. Motherfucker. I know we talked about this a little bit, uh, Maya, but uh, I know like Ashley is joking. Like maybe you can start streaming since you can have like a microphone now and stuff. But if you ever need help with streaming, let me know. I will hook you up with any of the stuff you need. Because you're, all, I think, I think Maya, you're also a very entertaining person. <laughs> I know you, you kind of talked about wanting to do like a YouTube thing with uh, cosplay. Um, if you're really enjoying Twitch, that might be an option for you. You know, so just consider. You know, if you're wanting to do that in the future, if you ever decide to, let me know, and I will 100% help you in any way I can. And you too, Josh, if you ever want to do Twitch. <laughs> Other than just with me and Minecraft, I, I might eventually. You know, as you know, I'm kind of exploring my uh, YouTube wings yeah. a bit more. <laughs> You've made some interesting. Oh. Uh, I don't want to explain them. Artistic YouTube videos. Yeah, uh, one of them was artistic, I guess. The other ones are just like straight stupid artist art. <laughs> <laughs> Your Maya says that'd be cool. Maybe when I get my my place in spring. Thank you. Yeah, no, of course. No problem. I will hook you up with everything. I will say, like, <clears throat> I know, like, with stuff I've... By the way, that was a tower I made for Spleeting. That's a game that it's fun to play. I'll probably play it at some point later with Josh. You know what is, right, Josh? Spleeting in Minecraft? Sorry, one more time. Uh, Spleeting? Spleefing? No, I know what griefing is. Uh, spleefing is a type of game you play in Minecraft. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll show it. I'll show you. I'm gonna tell. Can, well, can I teleport you? How oh, I will do you? it anyways. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is awesome. I love Twitch. All right, let's. Um, okay. I'm going to teleport you 
<clears throat> and we won't play right now, but I just want to kind of show you what it is. Yeah, that's fine. You to me, yes. So, okay, this is a spleefing area. So basically, okay. Hold on, wait. Well, once Come you, once on, you spawn up. Still, uh, it's still yeah. loading. Oh, okay. So what sleeping is, is we have to both in survival, and basically what you do, um, you usually start with, like, a simple weapon or something, or usually your fist, and you try to, like, break the ground underneath someone. Yeah, and then it. you fall and die, and whoever survives is the winner. And then you reset the area. And that's how that works. So I just have a little death trap down there. That's kind of... Wait, that's a death trap? Yeah, go down there. It just looks like water. Go down there and find out. Okay. I don't have much of a choice. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Good job. This is Thank like you. Cool. So then, like, what you do, you play with, like, five people. And they all, like, try to break the thing. Out. So, so how some sleeves towers work. Thank you, Maya, by the way. Um... How some of them work. Sometimes they have multiple layers, so like you go to like a second layer and a third layer until the bottom layer that kills you. People play, people play Spleef in different ways, but it's it's an older Minecraft game. People's made up. Also, by the way, Minecraft uh, the Minecraft culture is also pretty cool for that sense. Um, and yeah, it's fun. I love it. Here, I'm gonna get out creative because I have an advantage. Because right. I could just like break it instantly with creative mode. <laughs> Game mode. Actually, uh, yeah, that will be fine. You know what I do? Before I go, before I end that, I'm gonna teleport you up here. There's a bed up here, so you can just sleep up here. So when we die, we could just, you know, pop back up. Okay, how far away are, away are we from our enemy and stuff? How far away are we? This from is the village right next to the house. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is close. Uh, let me TP you right here. Let me go into uh, survival. Game void. You gotta make it nighttime so I can actually use the. Oh, you, you, you can still set it as a spawn point even though it's not nighttime. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Alright. Alright. Cool. I, I, V. Alright, ready? Some people play with glowstone, some people play with glass. Because it depends on the free how fast you can break them. What? Oh, that was close. Nice. Yeah, no, that was actually really close. That was actually really close. That's fun. So imagine, like, there's sometimes silly situations where, like, if you play multiple people, they end up on the other sides of the spleef area, and they can't reach each other. So what do you do then? Is it, like, a tie? It's a tie, then, usually. Or um, there's sometimes a secondary spleef area they go to, then. That's, like, smaller blocks. I'm almost regaining health... What the f- this is taking a while. I'll find faster ways to kill you, then. That's fine. Just make it all That's lava. That's true. It's like they did drowning in lava at the same time. There. There we there go. go. Hang on, my brother. Um... Fuck. Did you change, uh... Oh, never mind. There it goes. Okay. I want to play... You know what? I think it doesn't help that I have diamond armor on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll just take it off. I have chests up there for that. Shit, alright, uh, well, can you kill me real quick? Just type in dash kill. Um, when I've done that, I've uh, killed everything. I have some pets here I'd rather keep alive. I'll just teleport you up here. That works. There we go. I'm creative again. We just gotta reset the... <laughs> it's like, it's a simple game, but it's fun, you know? Cool. 
Oh, speaking of Minecraft, Maya, you said at some point with your friend wanting to show off. Um, you gotta help coordinate that. I do want to do a stream of just showing off their stuff and like gawking at it the whole stream. I think that'd be really fun. She has a friend that um, just makes Minecraft, like has like a server with a bunch of creative towers and whatnot that they wanted me to look at. All right, let's go back to survival. Alright, All right. ready? Yeah. Get back to My bad. Very sorry. Go! <laughs> I started to jump across. I didn't run though. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, so let her know she can message whenever and I can join when y'all play too. Sounds good, sounds good. It's like discovered the floor with lava, I like <laughs> Man, have you ever played Lava Tag as a kid? Or me when I was adult? Man, there's, so there's one Lava Tag. So you, no. you play you know, you played like floor with lava like a playground as a kid. It's like that, but you also play tag. So, in undergrad, we would go, like, literally at midnight. I were to Zach, what is the difference between that and regular tag? If you hit, touch the ground, you're it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so, what? you have to, on a playground, not touch the ground, and just swing around play sets, playing tag. <laughs> So basically, you hit the ground, you become it, and you chase others, and if they hit the ground, you yeah. become it. That's kind of cool, but it just it sounded so funny hearing it for the first time. <laughs> it, it's interesting, for sure. Um, so, um, actually, it's kind of fun because the person who's it can touch the ground then. So you're like a, you're like a shark in the water kind of thing. You know? Yeah, sorry. Oh, you're good. You good? Yeah. Right. Man, I did the Michigan thing. You're good. You good? All right. Uh, three, two, one. I need to send you something later. Just say Mountain Dew, and you'll understand why it's related. Wait, what? <laughs> Just get remind me later, Mountain Dew. Can you push people on the ground in in lava tag? Yes, and people did that <laughs> when they want to be like. It want to be booty. But, um, basically what it was, like, we played this in undergrad. We literally went at midnight at this playground set. We probably weren't supposed to. Uh, and we would literally just swing aggressively around. And mind you, some of my friends were, like, parkour people. <laughs> we would literally, like, swing on sets to slides and stuff. like. We had this, like, it was a huge playground set that we would just go in the middle of the night. It was next to, like, a 7-Eleven. And just play, like, for hours, Lava Tag. It was really fun. And yeah, we would do things like that where, like, if someone wanted, if someone wants someone else to be it, they would, like, push them off kind of thing. It was fun. It was a really, it was really dumb. Really dumb. Smooth rain fun. But yes. Did you guys do, uh... Well, oh, her, you only did... No, oh, wait. How, alright, so question, what? Zach. Because I've forgotten a bit. Uh, you obviously you went to a very different school um, for elementary, from what I remember. But what did you do for junior high? Um, so, so for elementary, so just to explain, my my middle school ages from like third grade to eighth grade. I went to a hippie school, the farm in the middle of the woods, taught by taught by hippies, uh, where we would literally meditate in the morning. Uh, people always joke like, "Oh, you went to a cult school," kind of thing. I, I loved it though; it wasn't like evil or anything. Like, we actually, like, like they'll literally teach, like, like deep philosophy stuff there, though, and stuff like that. So I guess it does sound like cold school, but I loved it personally. Um, it was literally, like, we have acres and acres and acres of land. They teach us things like, you know, what, like, plants we can eat in the wild, like, survival skills like that. We would, like, for science classes, go catch frogs and, like, identify them and stuff like that. Really cool stuff. I learned so much from that school when I was at a young age. Uh, before... I went to that school. I went to a uh, school nearby, and I hated it because 
the teachers were just dumb and they they treated me like i was a bad kid for like the dumbest reasons like okay uh you know when i draw i hold the pencil weird i here let's see here do i have a pen near me i have a for some reason scissors here um when i draw and some people can even see this when i draw my streams i'm gonna grab there's a pencil up there two seconds Don't mind my stomach. Ah! Thanks, Josh. Anyways. <laughs> I'm alive because I'm a creative. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Hey, Josh. Hi, how's it going? Well, the <laughs> <gonna die. laughs> Beautiful. Oh, you're going to hop off? Okay. See you later, Maya. Have a good night. Thank you for coming by. Have a good night. Um, but yeah, uh, they, they would do things like, okay, so first of all, the pencil thing. When I draw, most people draw like this. I draw with like an infantile grasp. I draw like this. And I've always drawn that way. Uh, and you know what? I'll, I'll build up my ego a little bit. I'm a pretty good artist. I, I have a career in it. I make good stuff. I've always drawn like this. Has not hampered me in any shape or form. What, excuse me. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to write like that too. And, you know, like, obviously, the, the schools tend to like be like, oh, you can't write like that, so they train you not to, kind of thing. But they were so, like, awful about it. Like, they treated me like I was a terrible kid because I, like, were like they want to change how I draw to you. And they would extend it to things like when we had to learn cursive, because. Back in my day, you had to learn cursive. Um, they did things where, like, you know, cursive B, where it's like a L, but like, um, maybe some people don't know that, but where it has a little dip at the end. If the dip touched the loop, you couldn't go to recess. Like dumb things like that, and it was, it was interesting. The school treated me like I was a terrible kid, and it's like, oh, okay. So you know, you start feeling like a bad kid in that situation. Um, luckily, I had very, very caring parents that, like, helped try to figure out that situation. And we figured out that, you know, this school's probably not, you know, the best for me because they literally, they treated me pretty poorly. Um, so I went to the hippie school, and they're, like, you know, they're, <laughs> you know, crazy silly philosophies. Um, really amazing school. I learned so much, and I think I've grown a lot as an artist and as a person from the school. Um, and then I went to art school after that, and, you know, because of my art I made, like, got accepted there, and then that developed into my career now, so, this is cool. This is something that's really, really neat. If that makes sense, yeah. Are you still there, Josh? Yeah, I'm here. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. What's up? What's up, hmm? Oh, not yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, to answer your question, yeah, I went to a, a school that was not. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, I remember. Uh, I, forgot what, I forgot what I was asking initially. Oh, I'm sorry. It is all good. Um, I guess, though, it is kind of cool, though. I'm happy, I'm happy for you for that because, man, um, public school sucks. Public school sucks. <laughs> Like honestly, like honestly, I, most private school sucks play, too. I might even try to yeah. play like the. Uh, I might even try to like play like the blame game or yeah. whatever. But uh, I do kind of like. Like I am kind of like unhappy, I guess, with the uh, public school and like where it put me. In a lot no, of no, honestly, it's um. It's frustrating for sure. I I feel like I definitely end up. So so like. You know, I, I end up being valedictorian in my high school. I end up becoming um, soon kulati, literally point out for magnum kulati, um, if that's the right order. I think uh, in my undergrad, like I did really well in school. After, um, geez, I was not playing well. <laughs> um, but honestly, it felt like I was playing a game rather than learning. 
you know? Because I, I knew how to take tests well. I knew how to... Get in the good side of teachers. You know? If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I, could pl I could play the it game just... of education very well. Uh, which is funny, because like I thought I was going to be not so good kid from that first school I went to because, you know, I always got in trouble kind of thing. But I was like, you know, then I went to the hippie school and that was great. And then I went to more public schooling after so it's like college or whatnot. Um, and it was like kind of a culture shock being like, oh, wait, football jocks are a real thing? <laughs> I thought that was just like... Yeah, <laughs> like I thought it was like, oh, stereotypes. No, that's definitely a yeah. real thing. When you, I went to fucking, I'm, I'm not going to say exactly mm -hmm. where I went, but I remember when I was in junior high, there was some kid that was on the football team, and he, he had to have been joking. I don't think he was serious, but if he was, he's obviously a psycho. Yeah. He was one of the football guys, and he goes, hey, bro. He's like talking to one of his friends. He goes, have you ever swallowed a snake, a snake so hard you saw its guts come out of his mouth? Heck? I'm like... I'm like, dude. Yeah, man, I'd say. He's just, <laughs> like, you know, he just always acted so, like, you know, bronzy just because, you know, I play football. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's weird. I. Yeah, and also, like, being exposed to fraternities for the first time. I hated fraternities. I went to a fraternity because it was a, not a real fraternity in my eyes. Um, that's a whole other spiel I could go into. Man, we're talking about a lot of spiels today. Um, but, um... I mean, my fraternity, I'll be honest, was definitely your team. Yeah, no, I, I could tell by the way you talked about it. <laughs> Which is fine, I mean, that's fine for some people. I just was... It's not for me, you know? Just like how I feel like public school generally wasn't for me in a lot of situations. Um, you know, I did well with, like, in the sense of playing the game of school later on. <laughs> Um, not that our high school, we went to the same high school, by the way. Not that our high school is necessarily traditional, but it was charter, so it still had to follow public rule guides. But, um, it was art-based high school. We both went to art-based high school for 2D art, which is how we met, actually, which is really cool. And how I met Ashley as well. Dude, and Maya. When I first started talking to you, I did not really think that, and I don't mean this in a bad way, I didn't think we would get yeah, this close. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's really cool. I kind of thought that, like, uh, you, I thought, and you probably did, and it's okay to admit, I thought that you thought I was, was just very weird. Oh, I loved, I thought you were weird, and for sure, I loved it. <laughs> and I thought that you were, like, off put by me, so, like, when you were, like, we would talk on Skype and stuff, but so when you started talking about, like, uh, hanging out or whatever, I was like, wait, what? I was like, this guy wants to hang out with me? I was like, I didn't think that I didn't think you would feel that way. Uh, I thought that you were off put for sure. Oh no, I I I've always had a good feeling about you in the sense of like, you know, you are a good person, you know. So I I we all make a mistake. I, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, but, well, I've made some that, mistakes. That, that, I think that's part human, you know. But you are you are a good person. And I really appreciate you as a friend. And I'm really happy I, I've met you in high school, you know. I, I mean, we've known each other for literally a decade. Right? Eight years? Eight years. Almost a decade. Which is, yeah, which is crazy. I, I always round up. <laughs> it's funny. Actually, I always say, like, yeah, Ashley and I have been together for ten years. Like, no, it hasn't been that long. It's like, eh, close enough. But. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it actually takes, like, eight, seven years to get to know somebody. Uh, psychological pop, psychological mm -hmm. fact. Is that pop true? Psychology. Interesting. Um, I I haven't heard that, that so true? I don't know. I'll I'll look into it though. But that's interesting. I, I know there's yeah. uh stats where like I think after f five years. No no no. I think it's actually I think it was seven. I gotta look it up. So I I don't want to spew it to whatever because you know. Again, the studies you can't just say them and know that they're truly factual because of a lot of reasons, but. Um, I know there's, like, longevity of friendships depend on the first, like, X amount of years. And we've definitely surpassed that, which is cool. But, yeah. No, it's, it's cool. But we, um... Jo we were joking about this before. <laughs> we, we, got, we were just, like, stupid together. It's wonderful. Like, okay. 
I, I like would always create like creepy art and all that stuff because that's just kind of my vibe. And um, we would just like do creepy things in the hallway. Like creepy as in like not like, you know, gross creepy, but in the sense of like making demonic noises at each other. <laughs> like I think yeah, I think one of my favorite oh. memories was just one time where um I was just like singing Ring the Roll and Rosie's in Gollum's voice and just went to like one of the art rooms with no lights on <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. You're <laughs> like, what what is this? <laughs> Oh, oh. Look. Oh. <laughs> I, I like how it looked like I was like, oh, I'm gonna block him in. I'm like, dream so hardcore. And you just break the floor before him <laughs> below you and die. I had to do it. I wasn't vibing with that. <laughs> Reverse spleefing. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite players be like, man, yeah, man. I want to play Fortnite just to be a beam at some point. Bro, honestly, we'll, we'll do that the whole stream. I remember when I first started streaming. My friend Jackson's like, "Hey, are we gonna come like Fortnite streamers together?" I was like, "Hell yeah, absolutely." Dyer hair blue. He's bald, by the way. Dyer hair blue. <laughs> Become the next uh, ninja. There is one block over here. All right. We let's spleef? let's spleef. Let's queef. All right. Okay. A three, a two, a one. Let's go. And let's go. That was close. Oh, <laughs> I was like, should I jump? Okay, I'm gonna try jumping. I kept crouching while doing it. I was like, well, okay. Danger, danger, danger. Glass is actually more fun you because allowed? you can barely see where you're going are you to. Allowed to uh, are you allowed to crouch? I think you are, now? yes. Okay. Well, there's, there's, I think some people rule game. not to, but like, I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think some rules say that you can't, some rules you can. I usually play with you can crouch. Probably like competition specific. Yeah. No, some people do competitive um, spleefing. It's really funny. By the way, I'm not sure. Okay, so have you ever played in a high pixel? Uh, you've told me about it. I've never played myself. The high pixel is very fun. Um, they have a murder mystery thing, which. Essentially, was Among Us before it's called. Oh yeah. Um. So if you wanted to play it, we could sometime. But the only issue I foresee is uh, making sure we get inside the same game. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how we would do that because there's not like a room code invite like there is for. Uh, Got Among it. Us. Is it? So it's we, like we random. We could kind try of thing? it sometime. We'll, huh? we'll, I'll look into it then, see if there's ways we can do like plugins to figure it out. Yeah, you know, we can both be on the same That'd team. That'd be fun. I can see you being a fucking kick ass detective <laughs> on that. I'm usually pretty good at games like Among Us uh, when I play seriously. I, I don't think I've ever truly played seriously on stream, but like, I used to play Werewolf and stuff like that, and I'm usually pretty good. Both both as, you know, an imposter base and crewmate gay based using Among Us terms. Okay. I. I there's one over here, buddy. Got it? <laughs> yeah. You got it. Alright. Okay. Let's go back to survival. There we go. Alright, ready? Yeah. Uh... Okay. <laughs> That's something. It doesn't do anything. I don't know why you thought it was a good idea. I just thought it would be funny. Oh! 
<laughs> For a second, that was a knockback stick. Hard. I was like, oh no! <laughs> Might send you into the abyss. I'm just hugging each other now. Say no, no. You you go. That's <laughs> 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 okay. That was a close one, actually. <laughs> yeah, the, the straight up hugging each other. I feel like that's probably like in like the sleeping tournaments that take place wherever they are i feel like that might be a rule to like no hug. yeah i'm sure like kind of like a boxing match like all right all right <laughs> nothing below the belt <laughs> <laughs> bro by the way the fucking tyson fight was some i haven't shit. seen it okay so i don't it, i don't I, <laughs> was I he like was yeah it was a tie because he was like high or something I take it you probably don't pay much attention to Oh, no. No, I... I Very little. I know who Mike Tyson is, though. I, I know... I, yeah. From what I read recently, like, they made a tie, because... Whatever. The man is a fucking... The man is, like, honestly, like, an apex well, predator. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> He's a terrifying it, it person. It was a tie, because... I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, but... Pretty much, even the guy he fought against was like no tyson won he was way too That's strong funny. and they're like they're like no it's a tie so and I, from what i've heard and tell me if i'm wrong he was high during the match which is why he was a lot more relaxed at the end he's like yeah it was a tie is that true actually i'm not entirely sure i, I do want to check into that but i mean Higher or not, I mean... I mean he just felt good, you know? He just felt the vibes of tearing someone apart. Higher or not, like, you gotta look at the fucking match itself and be like, okay, like... Just looking at how they both performed... For, for men of their ages, they both performed incredibly well. Mm -hmm. Tyson lost a bunch of weight for the fight. Um, and he's, been just, he's pretty much been saying since that he felt more alive then than he has for That's years. That's interesting. He has problems, honestly. He, he's talked before about, like, the rush of, like, uh, when he used to, like, before he got into fighting. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, like, back when he was a kid, he got bullied a lot. Like, they would, like, kids would, like, uh, take birds from him that he really liked because he was really into birds. So oh, interesting. And, like, break their necks in front of him. Ugh, and things that's like that. terrible. That's and, terrible. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of fucked him up. And uh, once he got a lot older and a lot stronger... He kind of just became a fucking monster. Like he talked about, like the uh, the thrill he would get from like like robbing people, not, not robbing people, but more or less just being in that power of position of power. Um, right. He, he just he has uh, something wrong upstairs, and I don't think that like, I don't mean like he's a no 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 no. I, I get what you're saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just pretty crazy, and I think that kind of influenced how he mm. fought. And how he was as a fighter. Uh, it's fucking nuts, man. He is an actual monster. <laughs> He'll be 70 years seventy years old, and I will still be afraid of him. <laughs> I swear, man. It's it's interesting to have that kind of physical intimidation. No, because, like, he he just threw punches, like... And no, he, like yeah, no, I, I, I've seen videos... It, it, he looks. This guy sounds silly. He looks like a velociraptor in sense of like. 
a fucking velociraptor. Or, okay, sorry. <laughs> to be more particular, and this is me just being a nerd about dinosaurs, uh, Utah raptors, the biggest raptor, you know, the ones that are like the size of a horse, um, their forward limbs, because, okay, you know how dinosaurs, they have the, like, it looks like their hands face downward, but they, they actually don't do that. They hug side to side. Um, they yeah. s- suggested that it's it would like punch with its knife hands out, back and forth in like blurring speeds, to kill its prey. Oh, fucking star plant. <laughs> it, it literally just like shanked prey with its forward <laughs> limbs. Yeah, no, it would just do that because it also mind you has fe- like wing like feathers on the side, so it just like flock at you really fast. They literally expl- explain his blurring like speeds. I don't like. No, that. I love it so much. Um, the, the person who discovered Utah Raptor also like suggested like so imagine like because he, he's it's definitely a fully feathered dinosaur. He's like okay, imagine walking in the woods, and you see like a brown mound in the corner, and it shifts, and you see two. Wingspans with bright eyes. It looks like a huge face. Obviously, we don't know the coloration, but he's just, you know, doing this for the fluff. And then, moments later, you're stabbed 60 times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know what you okay. see. <laughs> it's okay. like, wow, okay. This is, this is the dinosaur movie I want to see. No more, like, scaly lizard... Jurassic Bark. I want scary, like, birds that have blurring knife, like, shaking speeds. Now that's all I want to imagine when I see punches in unimaginable, unimaginable speed. In the- <laughs> I, I want to see Mike Tyson a box of Velociraptor. Or a Utah Raptor. He tried to fight, I think it was, oh, was it a gorilla or a bear? Better not be a gorilla. Like, he tries to fight it was a gorilla he tried to fight a silverback gorilla those things could literally crush was... your torso with their fists I know this was back in the day when he was like actually insane he tried to fight a silverback gorilla for 10 k well he's alive because he didn't right or did he do it <laughs> no he okay, didn't okay he didn't. I was gonna say they wouldn't allow him um, yeah. Him. Okay. There, there's like a um. to allow him to get in there with us. I remember seeing like a, a video of like someone who was like a gorilla expert. And he showed his scars from a gorilla swiped him, just swiped him, his chest, and he had like yeah, like because his hand is literally yeah. like the size of your chest, like it ripped out his rib cage practically. Like he cracked all of his ribs just swiping him. Dude, a fucking chimp. Yeah, well, ch- chimps are about off. equal strength to four men. They can tear your arms off. Yeah. Easy. You see the whole, like, Chewbacca? Like, <laughs> you see Chewbacca just rip off, like, people's arms? That's basically chimps are just half her size. I, w- I wish we like, were more closely related to bonobos. Or most closely related. To I, I wish you were, as opposed to chimpanzees. I wish you branched um, closer to bonobos than chimpanzees. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. My eyes are getting itchy. When you, so if you have a bunch of starving chimpanzees and you throw some some food in, they will murder each other to get that food. Right? They're starving. That's like humans too. You know, with bonobos, yeah. even when they're starving. They will dis- distribute it equally, depending on who needs it most and everything. Like, they share. Really good sharing. And then they celebrate by intercourse. Bonobos are all naturally I bisexual. I more like bonobos. Well, because, like, they're all, they're literally, like, the hippie love all, I mean, they're still aggressive. They can still kill you. But, like, their, their, um, aggression is so much lower than chimpanzees. Replaced with, like, sex drive. But it's just like really like chimpanzees go on war with each other. Bonobos don't. <laughs> and I think that 
whoever gene has that that we have ticked off for humans we got from chimpanzees or the same ancestors as chimpanzees rather definitely we definitely have that and yeah it sucks. like if we were closer to the branch of the ancestor for bonobos we i feel like we'd actually war would be a very less extreme thing for humanity and it'd be less yeah often. Absolutely. Mind you, bonobos still can murder people, and they're still equally as strong as a chimpanzee. Or equally or almost as equally. I think they're a little less. I gotta look that up. But they're cool. They're just cool animals. And <laughs> they literally forgive each other by <laughs> by intercourse. It's really funny. Like, they get angry at each other, they forgive each other by just like, yeah, man, yeah, bro, we're just... <laughs> right, can you replace this real quick? I'm sorry. No, you can. Right. There. Okay. Alright. Ready? It's not ready. A yet. three. A two. I'm about to be bigger than that. A one. Where the fuck did you go? Zach, it's not okay. <laughs> Do you fall off on purpose? Left the game. What? <laughs> I took I, I, I drank an invisible potion just to see what he would do. I wasn't sure where you went. I was like... <laughs> I literally went invisible, walked up behind you, oh, why a mode, and tried to, like, break the glass underneath you for that way. No, I noticed too... I noticed too fast that you left. I just... It wasn't enough. <laughs> Imagine okay. if we all went invisible uh, for Spleef. That'd be, like, if you had, like, 50 people in a Spleef attorney, and they're all invisible. That'd be nuts. That'd be crazy. By the way, there's, like, Spleef attorneys are, like, 100 people in one, like, arena. Are we starting? Uh, okay. Sure. Let me uh, not be in creative mode. <laughs> I like how we just just run away. <laughs> I walk sideways and do that. I fall. You won. I'm so invisible. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what did you lose? <laughs> I heard you die. Yes, I. As just when I fully died. Man, that's fun. All right. I think we've been. I've been streaming for six hours. I think I'm gonna stop the stream. We can still keep playing, but this has been fun. <laughs> I think we've had a lot of fun so conversations you're... for sure. What's up? So you're gonna I guess stop streaming. We can still play though, but yeah. uh, or talk or whatever. But thank you guys for watching. Whoever, thank everyone who came by. This has been a really fun stream, actually. Um, uh, we're gonna play more tomorrow. And with that, oops, <laughs> and with that, it just ends the stream. Uh, where is it? Full face cam. There we go. Hi. Josh is still killing me in the corner. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Let's see if we could raid anyone. I don't know who's up right now. It's like it's two o'clock here. It's three o'clock Eastern. Um, is anyone streaming right now? Uh, is a boop. Yeah, we're gonna raid them. So, 
Let me get this all set up. Yeah, playing some Animal Crossing. That's fun. Alright, so Yeah, let's go, let's go read them. So we have to get see you guys there. The whole time. Bye bye.